from my findings, your land of Okwe is under siege and going back there would actually bring about your downfall. My downfall? How? <laughs> you see that you don't know about these village people and their activities or what? I mean, it's the best thing to do is just to avoid them. Let me shock you, James. I do not believe in all that village people nonsense. Okay? Listen, I have made money as a successful architect. So you feel you making money and going there to show off is the best thing to do at this time? Who says I'm going there to show off? Did I tell you that? Do I come across to you like someone who loves to show off? I'm only going to the village because my mom wants us to commemorate my father's 15 years burial. That's why I'm going. And I feel I should use the opportunity to assist my people. You've actually made up your mind in this thing. Oh. Let me tell you what you don't know. My father was a star in that village. Died prematurely. But something within me tells me he did not fulfill his purpose. I want to take it up from where he stopped. I want to bring all his dreams to life. That's my goal. Well, if this is actually the purpose, I think it's not really a bad idea then. We'll go with it. Come on, bro. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, some elders and council will soon be here, but have come early so that we put heads together. Mm. There are just some important things to discuss. Yes. You are the one man who has come to command the respect, even that of a king. Whatever it is of your concern, feel free to express it. I will handle it. I have overheard that our youths are holding secret meetings. Secret meetings? Secret meetings. What do they stand to achieve by holding a secret meeting in my kingdom? Oh, well, I think... Uh, we have to call them and hear them out because to allow them to take laws into their hands will not be good for anyone. Mm. <clears throat> oh. Do you have the idea or know who is leading in this secret meeting? Well, I don't think it is necessary. But the important thing is to find a way to tackle this matter. So by then, we set up an investigation to that to unravel who advised behind this secret meeting. Very close. Silas, where are you? Mama, I'll call you back. Hang on. You will call me back. Why? Eh? Silas. You. What's going on here? Oh, Silas, it's you. Obina. Are you the one leading these boys to disturb the peace of the neighborhood? Did yeah. you just mention peace? Hmm. Did you just say peace? Look at the faces around you. Do they look like they have enjoyed peace in this God-forsaken community? No. What has this got to do with anything? Everything! It's got everything to do with it. Tell him. 
Have we not been pushed to the wall? We yes. are. Have we not been pushed to the wall? Yes. yes. Ah, there are no good roads. Mm -hmm. No clean water. <laughs> no school. No hospital. The the the, the poorest school our younger ones attend now look like an abandoned pottery. Exactly. Oh. There is no gainful employment in this community unless you travel out to get a job. What manner of peace do you speak of? I understand you. For real, I do. I understand what you're trying to explain, but... But what? Oh, you want to tell me that it's not the way to go about it, right? Uh, exactly. Yeah? It is the government who is saddled with the responsibility of providing all of these things you have enumerated. Mm -hmm. You making noise and creating this kind of scene in the community would not help matters. <laughs> they would rather see you as creating nuisance. Oh, no, 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 does, oh, does it look like we does it look like we care? We don't care! We, we don't care! We don't care. We don't care. You. They cannot continue to undermine the destinies of we that are willing to fight for our rights. Yes! yes. See, it is time for this nonsense to stop. Yes! It is time for this nonsense to stop! Yes! yes. Ah! You know you're serving grace. Hmm. Because of what your father did for this community before he died. <laughs> and because not. I know you. If not, it wouldn't be this funny. I'm glad you remember what my father did for this community. I'm glad you know he stood for truth. And I still want to emphasize to all of you that it runs in the blood. Mm -hmm. I am going to take it up from where my father stopped. And I assure you that there will be light at the end of this tunnel. We are sparing you because of what we just narrated. Hmm. Other people will not be this lucky. At all. Boys. yourself too much. But that already told you that he's on his way coming here. So why are you still being bothered? Why are you getting yourself worked up again? Yeah? <sighs> My daughter, the way he ended that call left me worried. And since then he has not picked his cause. Huh? Mama, Hi. he told you he's on his way. He's not a baby now, he's coming. Mama, stop all this and I don't like it. Mm -hmm. huh? I don't want you to get old. Mama, Mama now, smile smaller. <laughs> Mama, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> you kept me know. worried. Ah. Hey, when did you come? A few days ago. And you didn't bother to tell me you were coming home. But I lost my phone. No? But I was not allowed to Mama to call you. Hmm. I did not want to bother you with the information I'm back already. But you should know that even if you don't tell me, the one who would never keep anything from me, my loving <laughs> mother, would. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. And I hope you are going to stay a bit longer this visit. Mama, I only came back for one purpose, and that's Papa's memorial, after which I'm rushing back to work. Haba, brother, now that's so soon. Can't you stay a little, a little more longer? Because, <laughs> because of Mama, you know this house is too big for her to stay. No, 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 no. Mama has all the comfort she needs in this house. She knows it. So you guys should not try to blackmail me emotionally okay but at least one month in this village ah, yes. one eh? month mama eh? ah, that's too far now i have work to do okay not to worry i'll give some extra days i'll stay some more days. Oh, wow yes. uh -huh, wow well that means you're going to buy me a new phone right who's talking about phone here <laughs> brother now what, what happened to your phone i lost it i just told you oh, no. why did you lose it you keep losing your phone <laughs> mama mama I no giving good Ali. Hi! Hi! Mom! I got you something nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mama, let me see. What? See what? Hey! Mom! Odogum! Okay, okay, not to worry. I'll get you the phone. Hey! Hey! 
Huh? I haven't said an iPhone. I said I'll get you the phone. Okay, don't worry, I'll get you an iPhone. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, but not now. Hey. Hey. Do you hey. see? Not now. No when problem. You're ready to go back. No problem. As long as you're going to buy it, no problem. I'll get it. So can we go inside now? My yes, son. Let's go. <laughs> hey. Hey. Your Majesty, I'm sorry coming to this very meeting late. I have an important issue I was handling somewhere. Well, sent, what exactly was that? That sensitive matter. It's very sensitive, and I think we should need a full house. And, uh, <clears throat> uh, no, Kongo. Does it have to do with the youth holding a secret? Secret meeting? What secret meeting are you talking about, Your Majesty? <laughs> I've said it. I've always said it. This man doesn't know what is happening in this kingdom. Only have a fake. He <laughs> is not grounded. You call me a fake? Uh -huh. Excuse. Is that, uh, let us go straight to the agenda, the main agenda why we are here. You, what useless agenda are you talking about? And you call me a fake? And you want me now to say something about it? Enough of BDK. Enough of this. <clears throat> the whole is okay. It's all right. Please, uh, before going into the the main agenda, I am actually waiting for the feedback from your journey to Umudinkwa, <laughs> specifically. Yes. Concerning my daughter uh, and the prince. Mm. So let me. Yes, my king. We have speak. gone there. We have done the whole thing. And we discover that uh, the prince is a first class prince from the first class kingdom. And when it comes to the matter between the prince and our. Princess. Uh, 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 Why not continue? Why to me now? Finish what you have started. You said I'm okay. Please, it's okay. You, you... It's okay. It's okay. So, you were saying something. My princess. Yes. I overheard two women talking the other day. Well, I am sure they were talking about me, so what did they say? That your beauty is connected to both the sun and the moon. And they feel the man hmm. who will marry you must be the kind of man we may not find in this kingdom. I don't understand. Is that supposed to be a compliment or a curse? Oh, my princess, that is a super compliment. And I can't wait for that Prince Charming who will sweep you off your feet to come. When you sound that way, you give me the impression that you are tired of the princess and you want her to leave the palace. Oh, please don't say that. There is nothing as beautiful as the princess getting married before her maids who are working for her. Mm -hmm. And I am already reading meaning into that. I mean, it's obvious that a man is really looking your way. Am I right or wrong? A princess. Uh. Um, hurry, come and inform the king. So the issue I wanted you to talk about is that. Your Highness, Your Highness, there are some people outside making noise. And who are they? I don't know. Okay. Get a guard to know who they are. 
I'm bringing it back to the message. Okay, your highness. Young man, I got out you are the one who elected to speak with the king. So, what is this all about? Why this protest? Or is this uh, as a result of your secret meetings? Your Highness, we the people of Okwe, we are bitter. Yes. yes. We the people of Okwe, we are bitter. Yes. yes. We cannot enjoy anything good in this community. No steady power supply. Your Highness, do you know that some part of Okwe have not had lights for more than one year? Why some that have light cannot boast of anything with that light? Actually, the light used to burn everything in our houses. Oko, no current, half current. It is fluctuating. Your Highness, do you know that we suffer to make ends meet? Your Highness, do you know that we pile on a bad road on a daily basis? Your Highness, do you know that the hospitals and schools we have in Okwe are nothing to write home about? Cha -cha. Your Highness, do you know that money is being made in this Okwe land? It's it's what they go. But we don't know where these monies are going to. Oh, at all. Do you know that serious money is being made in this land of Okwe? Big money. Just this morning, Your Highness, a young vibrant youth of Okwe was found dead. Her vital organs harvested. She was robbed, raped. Yeah. Very bad. Oh, when shall, when, when shall, shall, shall this end now? When now? Is this how you chose to show your displeasure? Causing this commotion even before you are king? Oh, no, what do you mean that I'm causing commotion? What do you mean by that now? Your Highness. We are here expressing our anger. You say you are causing commotion. Your Highness, please address this man. If he doesn't know what to say, please. Please, please, please don't do this. Do not. Mm -hmm. I am on top of the situation already. I will handle it and everything will be fine again. Um, but as for this lane, I already know about it. I've been briefed. I am making plans, arrangements on how to console the family. I will see to it that um, everything is all right. This has happened. It has taken place. There's nothing more we can do. Only that I will look for the killers. I will get them and I'll bring them to justice. Young men. We, the elders and council, we are aware that you are doing some secret meetings. It is unfortunate that Obina could not come to speak with our king. But nevertheless, please tell him that uh, whatever is the concern, we should address it any moment. In due time, we'll take care of it. Hmm? Uh, we've heard you. Uh, uh, we all know that... Uh, our king is a man of words. Yes. Yeah. Uh, on behalf of the selected youth of Oko here, I please urge that these promises shouldn't be an empty one. What? Is this the way you address your king? You are talking to him over big promises. Can you mean this man now? What, what, what are you implying, Naga? Oh, what, what are you what, No, what are you implying? What do you mean now? Please, please. please, please. You, you people should advise this man, though. If he doesn't know what to say, he, let him just keep quiet. Please. He shows that he's gaining something from this case. Because he's against the yeah. yeah, no, no. I don't want it to be said that I insult an elder. It's okay. No worry. No worry. Our king. Um, <clears throat> I have heard you. This will not be an empty promise. Now, I thank you for bringing this at least coming before me, and I promise you, when I was made your king, I was crowned to protect you and not the other way around. Therefore, everything you said will be taken care of. And as for the, those who are in the, the criminals we have, 
I will make sure that every one of them is searched out and bring to justice. You can handle this. Handle it with uh, Obina, please. Your Majesty, we can handle it, that is for sure. But we need the people in power to visit this issue with visible urgency. Mm. The, 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 this this we get to an extent that we will not be discussing it like this. Mm. Especially with people like this. I know why I'm saying this. Don't worry. As for your message, your highness, it will get to Obina. Yes. Uh, may you live long. Okay. Let's go. Okay. It's well with you. It's well with you. It's well with you. It's well with you. You do not know that this is a very sensitive matter, do you? When they say you are not grounded, you flare up. But it actually played out. It is obvious that you don't even know of the secret meetings. And whenever they say it, you raise your voice. Why? How, how, what do you think when you, you, you started challenging these angry youths? Don't I forget me. So, so sorry, my king. But they must be meant to know that the king, uh, the king's words must be respected. Excuse me. Okay. You should know who they are. Don't you know that these people can bomb down this tree <gasps> and nothing will happen? Or, or can you challenge them? <laughs> What is wrong? Is this too salty? It's not about the food, Mom. Then it's about what? I don't even know how I feel right now. Eh? Are you okay? There was an uprising on my way here. Uprising? What is uprising? My name is commotion. Commotion? Mm -hmm. I still don't understand. What do you mean by commotion? That will make my son not to eat in his father's house. Mom, things are really deteriorating in this town. I even heard someone was killed. That's Ujo. You know her? Yes, I know her. We were classmates at the community high school. She just finished her first degree. And decided to be sending things online while waiting for her service posting. You see? Poor oh, woman. Hi. Such a young, promising girl. I know her mother. 
She sells something close to me at the market. Hmm. Most towns that went down started this way. If we are not careful, Mama, our community is heading for doom. Ah, oh, well, please do. <sighs> My son, I don't know what you are planning. But whatever it is, you have to be very, very careful. You don't know the people that killed her. And you don't know why she was killed. Pico. What are you driving at, Mama? <sighs> you have to be mindful of the kind of things you get yourself involved in. So you don't make people your enemies. Pico. Voice Mama. Mama. Eat your food. Pico. Why are the Mama? Oh? Eat your food. God will help us. Mama. Obina, if you were there to see what that man was vomiting from his mouth, I don't even know how he got his red cap. That man was saying rubbish. Something was holding me back. I would have thought that man arrested him. He would never forget in his life. And what would have been your game? <laughs> Guy, we simply decided to make a statement and you know where, and that we just achieved. So there is no need of going about. Obai, with all due respect, we made no statement. I will be frank with you. We made no statement. We just matched the street of Okwe like women. We did not even do anything drastic. We did not spoil houses. We did not burn down cars. We should have gone to some of these people's house and do something very drastic to them. Because your body too, they hurt. I said you should calm down. Yeah? Well, let me tell you something. You may not understand that leadership is not bravado. Yeah? You may not have seen it now. But that does not change the effect of what we've just done. Just believe we have achieved our aim. And forget about destroying people's car. Don't go beat one old man, though. Before you keep person. Do you know your saving grace? Because of what your father did for this community before he died. <laughs> and because not. I know you. If not, <laughs> it wouldn't be this funny. I'm glad you remember what my father did for this community. I'm glad you know he stood for truth. And I still want to emphasize to all of you that it runs in the blood. Mm -hmm. I am going to take it up from where my father stopped. And I assure you that there will be light at the end of this tunnel. We are sparing you because of what we just narrated. <laughs> Other people will not be this lucky. At all. My father's voice was golden, not his silence. Should it then be allowed to be reported that my father died and his voice died? That uh, our king is a man of words. Yes. Uh, on behalf of the selected youth of Oko here, I please urge that these promises shouldn't be an empty one. This is chaos. Breeding up in my land. How am I going to handle this? Oh, the 
Father. Father, don't tell me you slept here all through the night. Oh my goodness. Where are your guards? Father, why are you doing this to yourself? Yes, I know you're missing mother, but is that why you're treating yourself like this? <clears throat> Too many things are coming up, my lovely, beautiful daughter. I, I can see you're already dressed for a beautiful day. I'm not going to ruin the day for you. Just have a blast. Let me go to my room. What is wrong with father? This is all I came. What do we call this? A kind of ritual killing or what? How could this be happening in Okwe and up till now nothing has been done? What about the deities of our forefathers? that are supposed to keep watch over the land. Does it mean they have given up on us and abandoned us? Silas. Mama. Silas, are you okay? Huh? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know? Every time you don't know. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know. Silas, don't, don't, don't make me a widow a second time. Come on, Mama. What is the meaning of this one again? What kind of statement is this? Silas, I know something is eating you up. Silas. You are too young to worry this much. Huh? Um, don't you think you should get married? Huh? Having your own children will make you concentrate. Huh? At least you give me grandchildren. Bikono. Silas Bikono. You see the reason why I do not like coming to the village? Huh? You will not stop pestering me about getting married. As if I would just go out of the street and pick any girl I see there. How old are you? Answer me. Silas, how old are you? Your mate. Hey, Mama, please. Please stop. Stop comparing me with anybody. Don't you compare me with anybody again. I am Silas, an individual of my own. I have my own agenda in this life, and so does every other person. Allow people be. Do not tell me how to live and how not to live. Okay? Please. Look at that. Ah. How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am. I know it's because of Silas you are here. If Silas is not here, you are not going to think of checking on me at all. Eh? Mama, you know how things work here. The young men here are practically going through the eye of a needle to make a living. Uh, it's not just that because of Silas. Um, I'm going to leave both of you to catch up. But um, remember to ask him. Why is he not yet married? Eh? Let it be the main point of you people's discussion. Okay, okay Mama. I would, I would do that. But Mama, please, uh, just take it easy on him. But don't tell me that you are supporting him. Obina, are you supporting him? Uh, no, Mama, I'm not supporting him. Obina, follow me. 
Don't support him. Yeah. Obi na support him. I'm not supporting him. You and this your hot temper. You've not changed though. Yet you're the one who leads an angry mob to create chaos in Okwe. And that makes you a peaceful person. Uh, what does uh, um, leading a, a protest got to do with this, uh, your anger issue? <laughs> I only have goosebumps. Goosebumps, okay. And what's that? Nothing seems to be changing. Are you just realizing that? Yet you chide me for leading a protest. <laughs> there are better ways to approach these things. You stay in the city. You only come back once in a while. Then you go back. You don't even spend time here in the village to know what is going on. You don't even ask how most of us in this village are faring. Yet you expect things to improve. Or is it because things are going well for you? Excuse me. Oh. You're offended now. That was exactly how I felt when you chided me for leading a protest in front of everyone the other day. You think some of us don't know the way to the city? Eh? You think we can't travel out of this village? Who will fix the rot if all of us has to leave? That is the problem we have in Ibo land. Nobody wants to step back and do something. Everybody wants to go to a developed place. Don't worry. It will soon get to everybody. Where are you going, Obino? I'm going to find a way to make a living. A way to survive. Zobina. Gone. Uh uh. Who will now eat all this food I prepared because of him? I don't know. You don't know. You don't know, Silas. What did you do? Huh? Silas! What did you do? Kill the body, Bia. What kind of woman, woman being is this? <laughs> You're very funny, Prince Sokak. Excuse me? Why do you ask? I don't think it's nothing. As a matter of fact, I think you're beginning to have some dirty thoughts in your mind. Okay. Now you're beginning to make me shy with things you tell me. Do you always call me on the phone to tell me crazy things? Like all the time. Oh, yes, come in. Sorry to interrupt you, my princess. But your food is served. Okay. 
I'll be coming soon. Ah, I'm sorry, I want to talk with you. I think we'll have to discuss some I mean, continue our discussion later. <laughs> okay, bye. So my father decided to put a smile on my face by at least eating. Thank you, father. My jewel of inestimable value. How have you been? I've been good. I can see you are getting on well with Prince Wakaka already. Um, how did you get to know about this, Father? My meetings told you. You don't accuse anybody. I am the king. I, how do you expect me not to know what is happening in my palace? You should understand how kings operate. Well, Father, we, we're just getting to know each other and that's it. I know. Still, Father, you are not... getting on well. Not you know, but that's my that mischievous smile in your face. I don't know what's in your heart, but we just had a treaty chat. It's good. Father. <laughs> Father, please. Can you oblige me the grace to at least make a choice of my own? I haven't said anything that suggests that. Father, I just want you to promise me that when the time comes, you will give me the opportunity to pick the man that I want to settle down with. It is good. But some promises are better left unmade. Mama. Mama, I don't understand Bora this evening. Since he came back, he has been indoors. Mama, I don't understand though. My daughter, your brother has been bothered about something since he came back from the city. But what pains me is he doesn't want to share it with anyone. Mama, I think it has something to do with Uju's death. My daughter, it's not just Uju. I know my son very well, and I know the sort of heart he has. He is more concerned in lots of things, which I don't want him to get involved in. But Mama. he wouldn't listen to me. And what are you saying? He would not. I don't understand. What are you saying? My daughter, you will not understand. But very soon you will. Ma, please, can you stop telling me I will not understand? Explain to me I'm not a baby anymore. If you explain, I will understand. Eh? <sighs> don't worry, very soon. Oh? Ma, I'm tired. Boy. Very soon. What an elder see sitting down? Even though a child climbed the highest Iroko tree, they will not see it. I'm a boss, Mumaz. A boss, Mumaz. expect me not to know what is happening in my palace, but some promises are better left on me. My princess, Prince Oka is on top phone. I'm not in the mood. Sir, you have to call back much later. Hmm. 
My princess. What? What is it? Do you mind telling me what the problem is? Nothing. I just want to be left alone. Is it possible? Sorry. Thank you. Why is it only marriage that mom is thinking about? Hello? I've been trying to call you all day and you, you're not picking my calls. I hope all is well with you. Well, I've been back in the village. A lot of things are not going down well here. That youth development center I was telling you about is actually a program meant for Okwe village. I just came back to discover that if nothing is done in Okwe town to salvage the youth, they may set the whole town on fire, including the king and the cabinet members. I may not be able to solve all the problems as an individual, but surely there is something I can do. Thank you for calling back, but please stay close to your phone. You never can tell when I'll need to call you again. All right, good night. Mom. Hello. I'll be leaving for the city any moment from now. Uh-uh. Why change your mind so soon? Uh, you remember the Anambra International Airport? Yes. I was part of the team that built it, designed it. Um, I think there's a development now, so I need to be there. I need to be at the office as soon as possible. Why am I even finding it difficult to believe what you are telling me? There is something else bothering you. Something is eating you up and I need to know what it is. Mom, I was robbed. I was almost killed. What? what? I've been holding it in. I, I didn't want to say it, but you have forced me to voice it out. Brother, when did this happen? And it's even better to tell me at least. I didn't want to disturb anybody with that. I came home for Papa's memorial. Now that that is done, I'd like to go back to work. There is something else you are planning. You are not going to be one man's squad who will bring sanity to Okwe. Mm -hmm. You are not even connected to the politics of Okwe. Be calm, leave these people alone. Apoha. Biko. Biko Nuna. Please listen to your mother. Eh? Listen to your poor mother, Biko. Hey. Eh? Prince Okaka, I asked you a question, and to the best of my knowledge, you haven't answered it. Have you been discussing me with my father? Please, it has to stop. I am the only one who has an opinion on my own life. Any other one that comes afterwards will be resisted by me. 
Thank you so much. I would um, have to say goodnight at this point. I'll call you later in the morning. Thank you. He has a nice voice. And has the ability to calm one down when angered. <laughs> but still, he's not the man. Where are you going? I'll be back soon. Huh? Tell you anything? Yeah. But what did you want you to tell me now? He already made it clear that you'll be leaving this morning. Um, so what again? He said he will be leaving soon, yeah. but not this morning. Mama, maybe he's changed his mind now. Eh? Stop getting yourself worked up on nothing. Eh? Silas is a very careful person. He can never expose himself to danger. You know that already. I don't like all this thing. I don't even know why I'm talking to you. What is it? Why am I even talking to you? Because. I always know that you will support your brother. Mama, you will support him. Now, eh? Hi. Mama, I'm mad. Let's go inside, Biko. If you're disturbing yourself, let's go. Mama, let's leave me. Could that be a suit of our dear princess? <laughs> he appears so. Yes. Who knows? Oh my god. That guy is so cute. So sweet. I wish that guy would. Wish... What? what? Eh? Tell me, Welcome don't you have face. anything meaningful to do with your life? Lives? So tell me, what are you doing here? The king has a visitor. Is the king aware that he has a visitor? Mm -mm. No. Now you take your retarded self out of my sight. You descend down from the pit of hell. Stupid. Come on, come on. What is it again? Huh? Destruction is that we'll go in there, find something doing. Not to come to the palace background to gossip. Why are you always like this? Hmm? Why? Well, wait a bit. The way the person has dismissed everybody, suggests something. And what does it suggest to you? That guy actually came for her. Oh, don't be ridiculous. He specifically asked to see the king. He never mentioned the princess. Why are you smuggling her into it? Hmm. I forgot you don't understand logic. Sorry. <laughs> Your so-called logic is a very poor one. Mm -hmm. I will never understand that kind of logic. <laughs> oh, very sorry. But eh, the princess is in love with two men. How will she cope? Ha, chica. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how you think. You just said that that guy came for the princess. Mm -hmm. And now you're saying that she's in love with two men. Yes. Chica, mm -hmm. you better guide your tongue. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's obvious you don't understand. Hmm? <laughs> you have a problem. Me? Chica. Hmm? I said you have a very big problem. Is this supposed to be an insult or what? Me? Mm -hmm. Problem. It is not insult. Should I dish it or? Don't worry. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Mama, am I still here? Oh, Mama, why, why are you making things difficult for yourself? Eh? Mama, your blood pressure will rise, oh. It will go up again, oh. Mama, you just have to calm down. And stop acting as if brother is some kind of baby you have to take care of. He's not a baby anymore. He can take care of himself. And you know it. Eh? If you don't have anything to say, eh? You can as well go to wherever you plan to. Mama. Mm -hmm. What are you saying now? Do you think I can go anywhere with the way you're looking right now? With the way you're, you are looking right now, do you think I can go anywhere? You think so? What if anything happens to my only son? Here! Yeah. Oh! Huh? What if anything happens to my only son? How come CJ? Ha. Mama, you know that nothing is going to happen to my only brother. You know that. He can take care of himself. Mama, stop acting this way now. I don't like it. Where do you plan to go? I want to go and see my friend. Which friend? Amaka. Which Amaka? The one that lives um, at Mkwa Potters. I've not seen her since I came back from school. But the way you're looking right now, I don't think I can go. No, you have to go. But make sure you come back early. Don't stay outside late, please. Mama. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will not. I will not stay out late. Yeah, I will come back on time. Mama, please stop thinking. I don't like this. Just don't go, go. Mama, please. You know if you think, I will know. So no. don't do it, though. No problem. No, better don't think at all. Oh, I don't know. Bye, bye. Why should I not worry? Tell me, why should I not worry? This was how your father was talking, and he left, never came back alive. Mom, stop. Stop now. Hey, why do you keep going over the past? Going over the past, you say? If you did not go over the past, how will you prepare for the future? How? Okay, fine. I had to go out and I went out. That does not mean you will not let me know your movements. You are not going back to Oka yet. Hmm. You should have kept me posted. Okay, mom. I am sorry. When next I'm leaving the house, I'm going to inform you where I'm going. Is that fine now? No, I'm not yet convinced. By the way, where did you go? Get out, big girl! I'm not doing this with you, Mom. I'm not again. Come on, you will not escape me, too. <laughs> I call for this meeting. We have a matters arising on our hand which demands uh, immediate attention, swift response. Yeah, Your, Your Highness, does this have to do with the marriage proposal between the princess and the prince? The king is still talking. What is your problem? You shut up until he tells you to talk. Please, you are, Your Highness, you kindly continue. As I was saying, we all know there was an uprising some days ago. And it had to be contained. In the meantime, we need to find a way out. Our duty as the governing council of Okwe Kingdom is to make life easier and better for the subjects of the kingdom. And uh, of course, and not to lay heavy burden on them. Now, at this point, I seek to know why things are growing worse by the day, what are we not doing right? 
<clears throat> um, Your Highness, if you ask me, I will suggest we carry out a thorough investigation to be able to know the level of uh, financial mismanagement that has uh, ravaged our community to that extent and being able to close it, plug it out, all the leaking holes, plug it out. All right. Eh? That's a good idea. Um, uh -huh. uh -huh. By investigation on financial mismanagement, what actually are you insinuating? <laughs> insinuating? Yes. Well, I am not insinuating. I am trying to prefer a solution to the problem we are facing, a headway out of this problem, as our king implied. Are you in your senses? Are you talking to me? Are you trying to insult me? Are you call, calling me senseless man? Are you the only person here? Huh? Please, 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 the king is Please. Hmm? please. Your Highness, may you live long. Forgive me if I don't understand where you are driving at. Has any one of us caused anything that resulted to the uprising? They don't tell a deaf man that war is approaching. Yes. Yeah, very correct. Because you will see people running for their dear lives. Mm -hmm. What the king is trying to say is... I know what he is trying to say, but... Please don't interrupt me when I'm talking. What are you saying? I didn't call this meeting for you to tear down one another. Solution is what I seek. And you will do well to put hands together with me. Find a lasting solution. And you were behind us. Forward, 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 forward. You are very correct. A young man of this kingdom has already shown me a blueprint on how we can develop this kingdom and make us financially independent from the Ministry of Chieftaincy Affairs. Wow. That's wonderful. <laughs> you go. <laughs> you go. <laughs> that would be great. That sounds oh, great. Oh, yeah. How do we see that person? Wow. I will now bring in the young man to present his proposal. You go. Let him come. Let him come. Let's see a direct review. Ah, this, this. I don't know how they drew their conclusion, but they are thinking this one who now visits the palace. Is better than the prince they have never seen. <laughs> I have seen what my leniency has cost me. And it's not you guys' fault. So I am now a topic for you maidens, right? No, just tell me. Is that what it is now? My princess, I see it differently. It is not gossip to say. So what is it? They just want the best for my princess. Whatever you guys are discussing about me has to stop. I want it to stop at once. Do you understand me? If you say so, my princess. I said so. I'll see to it. You can go. Thank you, my princess. I believe with this blueprint. We can create up to a thousand jobs for our team in use, thereby reducing the crime rate in this kingdom. Mm. Young man, mm. may your days be long. Mm. Thank you very much. Hey. Silas. Hey. You can see it. Thank you, Highness. Yes. No. You're welcome. Elders in council. Hey. What do we say to me? It seems a good plan. You see, we all need to look inward if we must grow. And, um. Your Highness, yes. 
I don't think this young man has said anything. Yes. All I had him say is stealing one of our natural resources, which is granite, and exploit Sam for his selfish gains. Ichie, it seems you weren't listening when I did the step-by-step -step breakdown of the contents of this yes. blueprint. Are you talking to him like that? You refrain? Eh? Is he your mate? No, look at him. Is he your mate? Hey, Jerry, what are you saying? Will you shut up your mouth? Mm -hmm. yes, yes! The other time it was Okum that was raining abuses on him. What did he do wrong? Is it not to help the community to progress? Yes. What is your problem? Listen, mm. eh? all of us know how this thing works. Use of these days. They think they are smart. Somebody got the visit the internet every second, minute by minute, hour by hour. And let me tell you, we will not allow this different to happen here. I tell you the truth. Are you speaking for yourself? Good. What did you say? I'm only asking a question. What did you do? Stop clamping on me. I'm going to pee into the wall. Five I minutes. Mean I will do it. Sort of rich away. Even your father, who was my mate, could not even talk to me like this. Do you know that your father will be turning in the grave for the mischievous character that is in you, Elder, Elder? Elder, mischievous elder. You are a disappointment. Take a time. Look, look at this one. May John listen. This young man did not ask for your money. Why did he say he want to run the company? I wonder. All he's saying mm. is to find good things for our community. Huh? He wants to get the best for our community. Okay. Suggesting that we use what we have to get what we want. Is that not what he's talking okay. about? Yeah, so that we do not depend on the state government on all we want. That is all the man has been saying. What is wrong with that? Yeah, huh? Excuse you me. Don't understand. Young man. Ichi. I want to understand something. Okay, Ichi. Are you saying that you want to establish a company that will help extract our granite? and turn them into marbles, so we export them outside. Is that right? Exactly, G. Are you trying to tell us that the establishment of this company will help our youths, at least 1,000, to get employment? Perfectly. Is that what you're telling me? Perfectly, G. And you're also telling us that an expatriate from Italy will help to run the company efficiently. Already agreed upon and discussed. <laughs> Igwe, in that case, I am in it. I will contribute my own quarter mm. and make sure that this thing goes because it's going to help our youth. Even me, even me, my, my own quarter. I will contribute. My dear son, I knew your father. We are both in technical college together. Uh -huh. I will give you 100% support. And in addition to all of this, I personally will donate the sum of 10 million naira. <laughs> 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 I will do that so as to uh, get the ground rolling uh, and um, encourage other indigents of Okwe Kingdom and make them understand that this is serious business. Mm. Son of the soil. Igwe, I will need just a piece of land to erect the company. Um, my son, Igwe. that will not be a problem. Yes. No. Just look around. Whenever you see the exact place you need for the site, do not hesitate to call on me. Yeah.
You should be in your room. I mean, how do you expect me to sleep when my father is not sleeping? I hate your footsteps. Please, go back to bed. I am not going back to bed, father. What is the problem? Why are you so worried? Talk to me. Mother is no more and I am unmarried. I do not want anything to happen to you. You absolutely have nothing to worry about. Just go back to bed, please. Father, I know that on easy lies the head that wears the crown. I have always done everything possible to help you with this load we should bear. Talk to me. I am your daughter. If you continue like this, trust me, it's going to affect your health. You are, you are indeed stubborn just like your mother. No, Father. Mm -mm. I am as stubborn as my father. Um, Gulibe. Yes, Father. How do you deal with subjects who cannot see eyeball to eyeball with your vision, especially if they are the ones who helped put you on the throne? Oh, you mean the chiefs? You already know them. <laughs> Father. Have you been eavesdropping on us? I haven't. But I mean, who doesn't know what goes on in the council of the meeting? Father, I think you're being too lenient with those people. Seriously, you have to show them that you are in charge. You are the king. Because if anything goes wrong in the community, you are the one that they will blame. So please, fix it. Fix the problem. How did you get so tough? Well, let's just see an apple doesn't fall far away from the tree. So, can we go to bed now? Did you say this young man is late Paul Abodiket's son? Yes, Chief. Yes. And you are confirming to me that the king and some members in council have given the approval for the project to go on? Sadly so, Chief. So sadly. So if I may ask, what did you do, both of you? Chief, we did our best to stall the process. Yes, we tried. It seems that the king is bent on having it. Anyway, from our foundings. Hmm. So it would be right for me to conclude that Eze Okamado has forgotten the person who made it possible for him to sit on that throne as the king of Okwe, right? Chief. And the funniest thing is that Ichi Obidike lent his vote in support of the whole thing. He insulted us as if he didn't know what was at stake. Ichi Obidike is in support of this? That is the truth. Yeah. I'm telling you. Mama, what did we do? <laughs> they said they want to see your brother. So go and call him. This early morning. Go and call him now. Ask him get up one day. Go and whatever. Ask him this early morning.
look at them. Look at them. I don't know what they want to see you for. Look at them. They are here. They say they want to see you. They are getting man. Do not overdo yourself. Eh? Maka eh? can't. Pablo. Um. Uh -huh. What's going on here? I, I hope I am not in any trouble. No, my good friend. You are not in trouble. My people, mm -hmm. who is our man? Silas! Silas! Silas Sangesu! Mono Jojo Mona Lala Silas Kangesu! Silas! 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 Silas Kangesu! Mono Jojo Mona Lala Silas Kangesu! I ask again, what is going on here, Obina? Silas, you're a true son of the soil. Yes. yes. In fact, you are indeed the true son of your father. Yes. I don't understand. Did anything happen that I'm not aware of? These people are here to acknowledge you as man of the people. Yes. yes. Me? Yes. Silas. What is he talking about? What have you done again? Mama, huh? your son has taken a step in the right direction. Yes. yes. We have heard about the development initiative he just proposed to the governing council. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we, the Okwe Youth Assembly, are here to appreciate you. Yes. yes. We yes. appreciate you. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Silas. Thank you. How? Silas, what have you done again? Can you hear me, Parozo? What do you mean? I worked for the Anambra State Government in the newly constructed airport. Uh -huh. I made some money. Mm. And I decided that my own community would benefit from that same money. I don't see that as a big deal. I only did what any other person could do. Yes, of course, we see it. And we also know it is something that is worth sharing. Yes. Yeah. See, the fact is that we, the youth of Okwe Kingdom, are here to tell you that we are solidly behind you. Yes. We are solidly behind you. It's the fact is that you are a man to watch out for. Yes. yes. It's actually not yet time to celebrate. Let's just hope that the powers that be act upon the proposal we have submitted. There's a lot to do. And together we shall make Okwe community great again. <laughs> and that is why he said you are the man to watch out for. Yes. Who is our man again? Silas. 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 Brother, I am not sure Mama welcomes this. You know how she is. But I don't, I'm not sure. I did not welcome me to uh, welcome me. At, 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 at. You will kill me. Mama, what, what? You will kill me in this village. Oh. What are you getting agitated for? They haven't done anything wrong. They have not accused anybody. Why are you worried? Hey. I said it. Like father, like son. When you are a no, no. You want to kill me? I'm not going to be a guy. 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 From what he said, the Igwe and the men in castle have approved the land for him to start up that project. Uh, I know that already. The only thing that I'm wondering now is where will Silas Abodike get the kind of money he is planning to use to start up that business? No, as if you don't know Silas now. You don't know that Silas has made it. Yeah? Do you know how much that guy made from this just uh, concluded uh, airport project, Anambra State Airport? You are here talking about where he, where he will get the money, kind of money. Now what for you? That guy no money. Oh, no, sorry. Mm -hmm. So look at what you're saying. Eh? Do you know how much he made? So you, you feel that because he has made a lot of money in the recent concluded airport, he will now carry that money, all of the money in his account, and invest it in the development of Okwe. Because he is the Royal Majesty, Igwe. Okwe is his personal uh, uh, 
business or personal land? My brother, calm down. There's something you don't know. Different men have different things that make them happy. Okay? So what we owe him now is to give him our own support. Yeah, support time. I bring in a job so we will take Give me your You know me. You know how optimistic I am. If eventually Silas happens to pull this project through, my respect for him will surely increase. That is for sure. Optimistic in Kegu, optimistic Omoma. Because when you work, I'm not going to be cool. I don't want it too much. One day, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Okay. Yes. Ah. Hey, my son. <laughs> Greetings, my elders. Hey. Silas. Son of Abodike. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <clears throat> um, my son, I want things to get started as soon as possible. Oh, great. Our people have heard your proposal and they are so hungry to see that seed of development being planted. Um, I have this man here to take you around the whole town for land inspection. And wherever you think should be the site for the project is where it will be sited. You have my full backing. Thank you very much, Onyeze. You are welcome. May your reign be long. You are welcome. Um, DJ, mm. please, you Shall take my round. All right. Shall we? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. You were. Uh, uh, yeah. I said, let me pay you a receipt. You did very well. <laughs> <laughs> I hope all is well. Oh, well. All is well. Good. <laughs> My dear. You too. You are trying. <laughs> Thank, you know, I'm up. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> hi. Uh, how about your mother? Oh, she's gone to the market alongside my sister. Oh, market. Market. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know. Is it not uh, the time for you to have a wife? Wife? Eh? Said, what do I offer? Give it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do not come for any. I've not come for drinking. I've come that we may talk. Talk about something very important. Yes. I hope all is well. Even if all is not well, we'll always find a way of sorting it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are men. It's okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm listening. Uh, he surprised everybody when he made the initial donation of 10 million. It was then that it dawned on all the cabinet members that nothing can stop this move. Wow. You know, Father, this is one thing that you've always wanted. To have a thriving kingdom, right? I mean, you should be thanking God ever seen the lights. Finally. Yes. Like ever, some elders are still kicking against the move. And uh, this... I begin to think, uh, I'm still trying to figure out why somebody will kick against a program as this. Father, those people kicking against this program are the same people who are trying to bring you down. You shouldn't be lenient with them at all. Oh, however, there must be a way to accommodate them. Accommodate people who are not on the same page with you, Father? I think that's being too lenient for my liking. Um, 
can we do less of kingdom politics? And uh, I want us to talk about you. Ah, oh, Father, please. If you are moving from this topic to talk about when Princess Golibe would be getting married, then I think there's no topic at all. Please. Are you serious? Yes, Father, I am. What is it in this kingdom that is as important as this? Father, trust me, I am going to get married when I see the man that has the same understanding and shares the same ideology, like, I mean, with me. Impressive. Quite impressive. Now, may I know this ideology of yours that will be part of the decision? Uh, there are some powerful forces in this community who are not happy with all the good things you are doing, with the venture you are carrying out to help this community. So they are not happy, and I want to allow you just to be very careful of those people. Ichi, sorry to ask, are these people the same as the people I've seen before? Oh, not, uh, they're not, they're, they're not even to compare to the one I'm talking to you now. The one you saw in the palace are nothing to compare to the one I'm talking to you now. The man is so powerful. He's so powerful that if he is even more powerful than the king, to say that whatever he lays his hand to do, he must do it. Whatever he wants to stop, he must stop it. Um, but... I keep asking, why would anybody be against the betterment of this community? That's the reason, because of the nature of the person I'm talking about is naturally wicked. The man feels that he is the king of kings. He feels that he is the owner of Okwe. And he feels that when he makes a decision, nobody should stop him. That's why I've come to tell you to be careful of such a man. I do not mean to push you with you, but I... Yeah. If I may ask, can I know the identity of this person? The man I'm talking about is Chief Leo Okeke, whom our king has given the title Okwe of Okwe. That man is heartless. He's retracing his way. And he can stop at nothing to silence anybody that is standing on his way. You really need to be on top of your game. We are talking of a man whom the Ohanese Ndibu is afraid of. Well, if you are sure the police has not done anything about that, it will simply mean one thing. The commissioner of police is compromised. Well, under normal circumstances, the ideal thing I will do is to remove the commissioner of police. And trust me, I am going to remove him. Well, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but that is what I am going to do. Well, in the meantime, election into the office of the chairman of the traditional rulers council is around the corner, and I want to retain the current chairman. Yes, he has done well in the last four years, and I want to retain him for another four years in office. I have not told him. But that is what I want to do. So I'm telling you, for you to set the machinery in motion, because he is going to be retained. I am not a king in the real sense of the word, but I am the king of kings. If there is any king in this state who will decide to disagree with me on anything, he will start to have problems in his kingdom. And before he knows it, he will be dethroned. And another king will he emerge in his kingdom. <laughs> 
Well, I was going somewhere actually to take care of an important business. And we can discuss about this much later at night. But in the meantime, based on what I told you about the coming election, set all the machinery in motion because I want that chairman to be retained for another four years in office. Thank you. The only man who comes to mind is Chief Okeke. Chief Leonard Okeke. My problem is, why would they allow such a man to become this powerful that he even controls the police? Um. What do you mean? My princess, do you know he was a police officer? My father told me about him. He was corrupt as a police officer and was court martialed. Now a man who was disgracefully removed from the police force for corruption, he's now controlling the police as a civilian chief. It is an irony to me. If you are sure the king is scared of Chief Leonardo Keke, it means we are all grounded as people. He loves to intimidate people. And once anyone gives into his endless threats, my princess, that person is a goner. You know, from what I got from my father was that he played a vital role in his emergence as a king. And that's why he must be named the Okwe of Okwe. Come on, my princess. You need to speak to your father about this man. There are so many things the king can do to checkmate him. Listen, I, I never told you all this so that you start piling up your own pressure on me. No. Right from when I was a child, my father has always done everything. He tried skimming his way through to involve me in the politics of the kingdom, but I was never interested. And you're not going to make me change my mind. My princess, now that a man like Chief Leonardo KK is determined to bring your father down by stalling this huge development project, my princess, you still feel you should not get involved? Um, can I ask you, Chikubi, why do you hate this man so much? I mean, why do you have so much hatred for him? I mean, with a passion. Have you had a one-on-one -on -one encounter with him? I have never told anyone this before. He was the one that killed my father. What? He did what? I'm telling you the truth, my princess. He killed my father because he needed to take her land for the gas station he built at the bus stop. <laughs> How come you knew about this and you kept quiet all this while? What would I have done, my princess? What? When everyone is scared of him. My princess, I'm just buying time because I know that a day will come where he will have to pay for all that he has cost me. I am really sorry. I, I never knew he killed your father. Accept my condolences. Thank you, my princess. But... My princess, please, please, I don't want anybody to know. About what you just told me, it is safe with me, I promise. Thank you, my princess.
well, I am just coming back from the bank and I have confirmed your deposit of 200 million naira. But I need you to know something. That money is a far cry from what you need to pay. That is if you want to retain your office as the chairman of the traditional Ireland's council for the next four years. Forget about Chief Ikoku. Chief Ikoku is only making noise. He's got no structures. In fact, let me tell you something. That man has a lot of things we can trigger into scandals. And he will run out of this country never to come back until he dies abroad. And possibly brought back as a cops. <laughs> there are kings and there are grade one kings. You see... Eze Okomadu, who is my king in Okwe, he is a grade one king because of me. But I have never thought of making him the chairman of the traditional rulers council because I doubt his loyalty, even up to tomorrow. Well, let me just break it down. If you are interested in that office for the next four years, I am not one of those men who will talk and talk and talk. I go straight to the point. And I am not one of those men who will always come to disturb the office holders and not allow them to do their job. You are going to settle me before you enter the office. So when you are in the office, you can do your thing without me. So if I'm going to make you the next year man, I will retain you for the next four years. You have to find additional 100 million naira and put in my account and you will be the chairman. Nothing can stop it. Think about it and get back to me. What? You just came back and stayed here. I thought you would come upstairs. I don't know. What is the meaning of this, Sandra? Are you not supposed to have gone? And what does that supposed to mean? Sandra, I gave you money when I was leaving in the morning. That is supposed that, that, that's supposed to have told you something. You didn't tell me anything. It's you I want, Chief, and not your money. You cannot want me because I belong to all. How can you say you want me? You belong to all. What does that even mean? Listen to me, Sandra. There is something I need to let you understand. There is a woman that is coming here to spend the night. She is a senior police officer, and I wouldn't want you to be here. In fact, make yourself very scarce from this place before she comes. Because if you remain here, she is going to treat you like an officer. And when she starts, I am not going to say anything. This man is just a beast. Mama, to the best of my knowledge, Silas had already decided to come back to Okwe and participate in the development of this town. Mama, it is wrong to say that you are the one who asked him to stay. I don't know the argument you are starting. All I know is that Silas came back for his father's memorial. And I asked him to stay for some time. He agreed. But now I want him to go back. Yes, Mama. That is exactly what you've been saying. Silas is now an established man. And you should know that he's no longer that little boy who grew under you, Mama. You should know that. You don't even know what is going on. Silas, your brother, is beginning to challenge Chief Leonard Okeke, that evil man who calls himself Okwe of Okwe. Don't you know what that means? Mama, has it not occurred to you that Chief Okeke and his court have hijacked the future of this community? Nothing is working anymore. I, Mama, I mean, nothing is working anymore. Someone should be able to confront him for a change. And in your stupidity, that person should be your brother. Your only brother. Are you not bothered that your brother Silas is not married? If that evil man kills him, 
Nobody. I mean, nobody will inherit this house again. Mama, nobody is going to kill Silas. Nobody is going to kill my brother. He's only doing a noble thing. All we could do as family is just to support him. Never. That's all. Never. Never will I support my son to do something that will kill him. Mama. I will not do that. Tell him to go back. Tell your brother to go back to Oka and continue his business. Face his business. I will not say it again. Mama. Father, I want to know if this man is this evil, why does he have a chief nice title? Why? The highest one at that. Is it that you do not have anything to do with? I mean, how do you suddenly get obsessed about a man who never even looked your way? Father, please do not twist us. For you know I am not obsessed with this man. I just want to know why one man is bringing pains to everyone, and yet my father could not call him to order. Who have you been listening to? Oh, goodness. Olive? Why are you so concerned about him? I gave him a title he asked to be given. Why is that a problem? Father, I want to know what positive contribution has he made in this land for him to have such title. And who told you that that title is the highest in this land? Father, I do not need anyone to tell me that Okwe of Okwe is... I mean, it's fixed for him, Father. Why would you give him such title? Why? He's already the, 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 the owner of the kingdom. And I want to tell you, my dear, that title means nothing. Absolutely nothing. See, Chief Liu Okeke is a man up against the gods and he will meet his punishment one day. Father, are you aware that this man we're talking about had a hand in the death of the father of one of the maidens? The one who bears the king's cup. Are you aware? And I'm equally suspecting that he may have a hand in the death of your mother. What? More reason I ask you to forget about the man. He will meet his end when the gods approve. Let us not get involved. Hope you know I am not supposed to be hanging out with a character like you. I don't understand why you wish it. You are a police officer doing so well as an officer. And I was a police officer myself. So if you're not doing stuff with me, who then will you be doing stuff with me? Eh? I am not talking about your past. I am talking of who you are now. Who you are now? Lady Green, who am I? I mean, if they ask you to describe this man that is standing here, what are you going to say? Let me say this as an officer. You are an unrepentant criminal. What? And I feel you should start now to close your ranks. I should start now to close my ranks. What a minute. Lady Green, should I? Should I understand this to mean you have been discussing me with people? It is because of you that the commissioner was removed. No, 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 no. I am not going to allow you to twist what happened. It, it was not because of me that the commissioner was removed. I was the one who removed him. You know why? Because he was not doing the things I want him to do, and I removed him. Is that what you think? It, it is not what I think. It is what I know. He messed up, and I messed him up. If I should continue doing stuff with you, then you must tune down on some criminal operations. If the authorities will beam their searchlights on you. There will be so many things they will find that will land you in prison. Are you serious? Lady Green, wait a minute. 
are you still here as my babe? Or have you arrived to start working as an officer? <sighs> Meet me upstairs, Chief Leonard Okeke. I don't have time for your drama now. What's going on? This letter officer talking to me like this. Where? Where is she getting the guts? Honestly, I am confused about a whole lot of things. I'm confused. About a whole lot of what? My mom. My mom is beginning to express fear. She's so concerned about what Silas is doing. Originally, I was supporting him. But somehow, it has dawned on me that my mom could be right. Yes. I can make a guess of what is the fear for. Wait. You people feel Chief Okoge is going to kill him, right? Exactly. Exactly. Oh. I gather that even the king is scared of the man. If that is the case, who is my brother? He can kill him anytime. Yes. The same problem we have here in Okoe is the same problem holding Nigeria down. I don't get it. What has Okoe got to do with the policies of Nigeria? What? Everything, Neka. Some group of vicious men, very selfish. People who who's supposed not to be in the public service have hijacked the kingdom, making evil policies that favors only them. I don't understand what that means. It means Chief Okeke and his clique of evil men are the evil oligarchy. Why Silas and the rest of us represents progressive who wants things to be done properly. But my brother could be killed in the process. If that should happen, that's the end of my father's lineage. Don't you get it? Calm down, Onek. I promise you nothing will happen to your brother. I hope so. I promise you. If you see the way this man is listening, you will pity me. It was as if we never had anything in common before. Hmm. <laughs> what is that one? Please. How many times do you want me to tell you that Chief Okeke is a rock without conscience? This man dismissed ladies at the middle of the night. We are very lucky that he didn't even dismiss you at the middle of the night, sir. Babe, can you imagine? That man was lying naked before me, deeply asleep. I'm grateful why I didn't listen to my instinct. I would have taken shots of him. Eh? Babe, and what would I have done with the images? Hmm. As he has decided to make fool of himself, I would have uploaded it on the internet. Sandra, like, like, the way I'm seeing you now, it's like you want to die. You don't love this in your life. You don't even like it at all. Chief OKK is a man that even the kings are scared of. Don't even think of that. What's wrong with you? Someone has to teach that man a lesson, a very hard lesson at that, so that he will know the pains of treating someone like a trash. The way you are even saying that, thought you told me that this man gave you 200k. Please give me one first. Let us share it to understand. Listen, what everything is not all about money. I've still developing feelings for this man. <laughs> I said that I need to go to the hospital. You're sick. Ichi, I just came down to Oka to calm my head down and um, get some rest after all that pressure. I am even surprised you followed me. But my question is this. Knowing that that man is evil and wicked, why does everybody act as though he's a saint? Not only that uh, he is evil and wicked, but evil and wickedness runs in his blood. 
the question that is begging for answer is who will confront him in this our community? Even our king's hands are tired. He's just a radical. And he comes from a, a family that believes that uh, it's only them that will determine who rules this kingdom. A cabal that controls this our community. That's why he belongs. Well, he cannot be allowed to pocket everybody in this community. I mean, who does that? Something has to be done about this. And honestly, I'm compelled to take the lead. My son, if you will listen to me, do what your mother told you and save your life and continue doing your progressive business the way you are doing it. Are you insinuating he might come after me? And um, did you know how your father died? Well, he died on his way back from a business trip, so I was told. I am happy that you said that what you were told. What are you trying to say, sir? Was that a lie? <laughs> Actually, it's a lie. Your father died as a, a result of political assassination. He died because of his uprightness and speaking the truth bluntly. But some people felt that they should silence him in order to have their way in their corrupt uh, uh, way of doing things in this our community. There are some people that we are mafians. Guess who was in charge of that case? Chief. Leonard Okeke. Actually, he was the officer in charge of the case. But he swept the whole evidence and everything under the carpet and let the perpetrators go scot free. And that was the end. That was the end. Why are you telling me this now? Because I wouldn't want the history to repeat itself. When your father was fighting, for the right of our community, I was not happy. I continued to control him, but he couldn't. Because he always believed in uprightness and things should be done in the right way they're supposed to be done. He was an illustrious son, and yet we betrayed him. You know, conscience is an open wound that can only be healed by the truth. We, the people of Okwe, really suffered in the hand, hands of Leonard Oteka, and we wonder when this will work. End. We wonder when it will end. Yeah? That's the problem we have. <laughs> if you're confirming to me that my man, Chief Okeke, is in the house, why then are you not letting me in? Because Chief is with another woman. Not just a woman, but a senior police officer. I will advise you to leave and come back next time. I think this night is not a night. Wait, wait, excuse me. What is that? Can you at least tell him that I'm here? I should tell him that because you are who? <sighs> just, just tell him that Blessing Ume is here. Chances are that he will ask you to bring me in. Call him and tell him that. If you are able to convince him, he will call me and give me the required instruction. <sighs> this man is so heartless. Okomado, if you are sure Ishi Obidike has been the one engineering the young man, propelling him to do the wrong things in this kingdom that I have already wired, why have you not done anything to stop the provocation? In all honesty, Chief, I do not see this as provocation. Are you serious? So how do you see it? Of course, I see it as development. The young man's proposal is out of the box. And the thought of that alone has gone a long way to helping calming the youths of Okwe down. And I feel we need to encourage that young man. So the hope of the youth of Okwe is now your priority, Okomado. Are you aware that the land the young man is planning to get the granite for his so-called uh, marble company is the same land where I told you that I have already mapped that for myself. 
Oh, Chief, you only suggested that you have interest in that land, and I cannot remember signing that land off to you. Wait a minute. <laughs> Ukobado, are you by this telling me that you never plan to sign the land off to me? Wait a minute. Leo, I do not know, uh, I don't know how to say this, but are you rather planning to hijack all the lands in Okwe Kingdom? See, ever since you started your illegal mining on our lands, the people of Okwe has never benefited. They haven't benefited anything. And this is the only program that will bring smiles on their faces. The youth now see future in this. I, I am saying that we should encourage that. Yes. Hello? Hello, are you there? Is no longer that naive man I planted as king. He has grown wings. <laughs> we shall see. Yes, what is it? Hi, baby. Thank God you finally picked. I asked the question and you have not answered that question. I said, what is it? Baby, I've been outside your gate. But your gatekeeper refused to let me in. Is that why you're calling my number? Chief, he actually insulted me. He told me you are in there with another woman. Can you imagine? So he went to the extent of giving you that very important information and you still had the guts to call my number? Chief, I'm sorry. But you're sounding as if you are angry. Listen, listen, listen. If you are there in the next five minutes, you will be arrested by the police and you will sleep in cell with hardened criminals. What a country. What kind of useless girls do we have nowadays? What? What happened? What's going on here? Silas, my brother. It's Obidike. Ichi Obidike is dead. What? May your days be long. My fellow elders, I, Ishe Omeno Kolobia, wish to withdraw my support for the establishment of Okwe Mabu Company, as earlier agreed. Namdi, why? Omeno Kolobia, why now? Now that I need, I need all of you, why? Are we all blind? Can't we see the handwriting on the wall? Can't we see that Obidike's death is connected to this, Igwe? 
Igwe, I don't want to die. I want to keep my head as long as I can. I don't want anybody to tell my children. I want to tell them myself. Me too. I hereby withdraw the support I made earlier. Your Highness, I don't want to die young. I don't want to die now. I am sorry for the inconveniences uh, my sudden withdrawal may have cost you. If you all will excuse me, I have an important meeting to attend to. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a It's a Are these the kind of men you rule this kingdom with? It is obvious. It is clear that we are out for war. Your Majesty, if only you will stand with me on this, we are going to see it through to the end. <sighs> Thank you for stepping into the shoes of your father. We will see to the end of this. You may be right. You may be wrong. But that he called your father late into the night does not mean or to conclude that he killed the man. Chekube, I am not emphatically saying that he killed the man. I am just saying that he could be the one who sent the kidnappers that took the man away and killed him. But we don't have any evidence, my princess. I'm pleading with you not to say it outside. Have I told you that my father confirmed that that monster had a hand in my mother's death? What? What did you just say, my princess? You heard me. I said what I said. You know, that beast is on the loose and someone needs to checkmate him. And you're thinking you're the one who will do that? Please, my princess, just let this go. Allow it to go. You don't need to saw your hand with a character like Leonard Okiki. Please, my princess. Commando, I came here for us to discuss man to man on something that is very important for our kingdom. I am trying so hard to understand why your daughter is standing here with the permission and is not willing to give us the privacy we need. What is going on? Just say the way you call, I mean, the way you call him by his name. It seems you've forgotten that he is not just a king, a king of Okwe. Well, come to here, your father, who is the king of Okwe. It may be the king of Okwe for real, but I am his own king. Has he not mentioned that to you before? Chief Liu, be guided with the utterances coming out from your mouth. It is true. You may be wealthy and highly connected but you are undermining a king. The man who holds the offer of your land. And the same one who ministers on the sacred ancestral tools of our ancestors. Be guided. Uh, uh, let me understand something. Could this be your motivation? Oh, commando. Is this the reason you have been misbehaving? Is this why you are no longer committed to do with my biddings? Because you now see yourself as one all powerful king who holds the offer of my land and ministers on the ancestors too? Listen, Chief Leo, I do not wish to join issues with you. But if you are in any way connected to the death of Unze Obidike, just note that you have initiated a process that will cut you short. 
What in that is true? We come, madam. No, are you now threatening me before your daughter? It is not a threat. <laughs> it is a statement of fact. There comes a time in a man's life when he has to call himself to a closed door meeting. And trust me, this is exactly what you need at this point. Really? Your daughter just said I should call myself to a closed door meeting and I want to ask you if I should call myself to this closed door meeting and close the door do you really think that the door will be the only thing that will be closed? <laughs> Chief Leo KK Listen it is only a foolish man that will be surrounded by the gods and he wouldn't even know. My son, do you need a soothsayer to tell you that Chief Okeke was the one who killed Ichiro Bidike. Why are you not listening to me? Why? If he could kill him after meeting with you, can't you see you at the nest? Be gone. Mama, listen, there's a lot going on in my head right now. This, this, your, this your narrative is not what I'm about at the moment. Uh -uh. Please. Huh? Neka. Mama. Are you not going to talk to your brother? Are you not going to talk to him? The same thing that his father was doing that led to his death. That is what he's doing now. Ma, please, do not worry yourself. I'll talk to him. She will not listen to me. She will not listen to me. Mama, don't she will not. Ma, please, don't worry yourself. I'll talk to him. I don't know what you want to say, but please do not tell Mama's lying. You not even allow me to present this my own way. Huh? I have a way around it already. So whatever way you want to suggest will not work. But brother, you know that Mama has a point there. You know that... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, please. I'm, I will not say any other thing. But please don't go. Please don't leave. I'm begging you. Hmm? This is the big fool, Chief that has been parading himself as the leader of the youth. He has been the one hosting the coup planners. He wants to change the political structure of this kingdom. Hi! Chief, it's a lie. They are lying against me. Chief, I'm not planning any coup. And I have no idea what, of what, what they are saying. Shut up, my friend. Who the hell do you think you are? No, no, no. You, you believe you can become my headache. In this kingdom that I have already wired? Chief, mm, okay, I swear, eh? Chief, I swear I'm going to dismantle everything as soon as I live here. Please, just save my friend. life. Because you must be a fool to actually imagine that I would let you leave after today. Hey! Who given me? I give him a key and I got a bin now. Now, voila. Guys, you see this thing here? Turn it off. And they cut the remains into pieces of meat. Flush everything down the loo. Hey! Get busy. Hey! Hey, would you move? Hey! Get up. Hey, would you move? Hey! Oh, hey.
Why are you calling my number? I beg your pardon? See, Chief Okeke, tell me why you are calling my number or I'll end this call. Is there anything wrong with you, Sandra? Why are you sounding this way? No, 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 you are talking to me, Oketele of Idu, the Okwe of Okwe, in this language, because of what exactly? Chief Okeke, you're a heartless man and I regret ever doing anything with you. You are possibly calling me this night because you don't have a woman to get laid with. A woman you still insult in the morning. Come on, Sandra, don't say this. Don't say this. If there was a reason for what happened that night. You know, I was tensed. That's just the truth. Can you tell me exactly where you are this night? Let me send one of the drivers to come and pick you up. Trust me. I will make it up to you. Trust me. There's need of making it up to me. See, Chief Okeke, you will never see me in your house. Go and call your police officer to continue from where she stopped. Please stop calling my number. Good night. <laughs> where is our God coming from? Sandra. You got in the call on me. What a minute blessing. Are you saying you deleted my number from your phone? I know this voice. Chief Leonardo KK. Why will I have your number in my phone? So I will mistakenly call you another day and you have reasons to insult me? Huh? Come on, blessing. Why are you sounding this way? Why are you calling me a beast? I'm not a beast. I am still the lover boy, you know? Listen, forget about what, what happened that night. I was actually, I was not in a very good mood. Uh, but I am calling you this night because I, I want us to make up, okay? <laughs> Tell me, what do you want? See, yeah, blessing. I want you to come to me this night. Trust me, I am going to make it a very memorable visit. You will love what you will see in the morning. Just come. Just come to me. Hello, Blessing? Blessing, you're not saying anything. I am here and I am not coming. One more thing. Don't you ever call my number again. Something must be wrong somewhere. Why is it that I am no longer able to control anyone to come to me? What is going on? I came early to tell you this. So you redefine how you are confronting that man. I have not even started confronting him. I am still gathering information. Uh, in that case, you have to stop. You have to forget about it. I was the one he accused of hosting a meeting. I was the one he ordered the boys to shoot. But I know this is not about me. Listen, I made up my mind to do this and nothing will make me back down. Silas, uh, we the entire youth of Okwe sees your return as a blessing. 
we have seen what you've done and we are eternally grateful but we don't want to we don't want you to put your life in this don't worry Please. don't worry nothing is going to happen to me i'll be fine obina i promise you let me see you don't worry okay Here. You are going to quit that project you proposed to do if you know that I am your mother. Mom, I did not come this far to quit. In fact, let me make it explicit. I don't quit. You said what? So you are asking me to disown you? Silas, look at me. I am your mother. I carried you in my womb. I breastfed you with these two prayers I'm carrying. Now you are daring me because you've made money. I'm not daring you. I, I cannot dare my own mother. And what are you doing? I am asking you to stop what I know that it will take your life. Mom, I am only doing what I know is right. And what do you know is right? What do you know about life? Imagine a whole Icheo Bidike. If Ito Bidike could die like that, just like that, what do you think? I've lost your father, my husband. I don't want to lose you. And I am telling you, Mama, that you will not lose me. Please! <laughs> please, 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 my son, please quit, quit. Uh, uh, Obai, I am finding it very difficult to understand why it has to be you of all people that will be sowing the seed of fear in the youth of Oakwood. And I am, I am trying to understand it. And, uh, and I don't understand what you mean by seed of fear. Uh, Obai, don't tell me you don't understand because you understand exactly what I am saying. You understand exactly what I am saying. Obai, we are starting to succeed. Everybody knows that we are going to succeed. Why would you be telling the youth of Okwe to stop campaigning? Why, why now? I'm, I'm beginning to think that they have bought you. Hey, but, yeah, Fernando, that's an insult on me. In case you have forgotten, let me quickly remind you that I'm still the president of the youth council and I'm not going to watch you accuse me of being bought. Take what they are calling here. Okay. Okay, sorry. If hmm. you've not been bought, sorry. But you have to give me a concrete reason to stop. I mean, come on now. Even the people in the likes of Chief Leonard Okeke is starting to be afraid. And you are saying we should stop. Check it now. Now, let me tell you. I had a very scary revelation. And in that revelation, I was arrested by this evil man. Hmm? Yes. He ordered his workers to turn me off, cut my remains into pieces, and flush down the toilet. So, if it's you, will you continue? Eh? That, 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 that's very scary. Uh, but but that, that will be... Maybe you have... You are already entertaining the spirit of fear in you. Yes. You know? You are already entertaining fear in, in you. So that dream now came to, to you know, put more fear. That is just a dream. It, it's nothing. That dream is just, is just... Listen to me, Fernando. I do not need your interpretation on this. I know what I saw. Okay? And let me tell you, I am no longer part of this. Huh? If you want to continue, you continue. I don't want to die. No, 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 no. Is it going to mind me? Wait, 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 No, 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 no. That spirit is not in our body again. No, no, I can't stop. You, you, you are just a coward. Even now you are a coward. Most of you people are cowards. Or silly, they are cowards. Father, I am confused. Setting up this company will definitely create job opportunities for our youths. Why is he kicking against it? He has been the one in charge of illegal mining of diamond, gold, and other solid minerals in Ogwe. He has been making a lot of money from this business. He feels this project will cripple his business. Ah, 
Now it boils down to selfishness. Tell me, Father, have you benefited anything from this man? Anything positive at all? Truth is, he pays me every month to provide cover from the town union. But I've already told him to keep his money. I mean, we cannot see what will benefit the people and sit on it because of one individual interest. Father, you know, all this while you've done everything possible to get me involved in the kingdom's politics. And I have always said no. This time around, I am going in for it. And I mean it. Wrong timing, my dear. Totally wrong timing. Listen, Golibe, I do not want you to expose yourself. Please. Please. Father, do not bother preaching to me. For I have made up my mind. See, this is war that has to do with money. And when men fight for money, they fight dirty. They fight to finish. Exactly, Father. The word fight to finish is not an exclusive word for men. Women also fight to finish. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. If there's anyone who should die in this cause, it should be the man who has been killing people by the gun. He should also die by the gun. Golibe, Golibe, why are you doing this to me? Father, I have made up my mind. This man will kill you. Oh, yeah, Gebu. Mm. Hello? Who is this? Does it mean you never bother to ask yourself why is she a she the email withdrew his support? Well, let me tell you, he was threatened and he saw the handwriting on the wall. Are you therefore threatening me so I'll resign? I am not threatening you, young man. I am telling you a story and if you will come down, you will hear it all. Have you bothered to ask yourself, equally, why is she or Ben Columbia vacated himself after his initial support? You know what will happen when I kill you? Your spirit will never communicate to this world, for I will urinate on your face as you're lying dead. And any man who dies like that in the hands of a woman dies a very useless death. I'm sure you don't want that. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Tell me exactly what you want me to do, and I will do it. Please. Oh. Withdraw your support and you will leave. If you stick to your promise, you will be kidnapped. This no nonsense lady here will be allowed to do what she has already said. And the no account should you mention this to anyone, not even your wife. Because if you suspect that you mention this to anyone, I will kill you, I will meet your wife, and I'll send to her. If only. My name, my spirit, aka disappear and reappear. If you misbehave, I will find you. He respected himself by obeying the golden rule. Will you give yourself the opportunity and do the same? 
or do you want to be stupid and uh, experience the owners of the night? Listen, do you know the caliber of man you're talking with? Silas Abodike, you are an architect, a good one at that. And from what I gathered, you are amongst the theme that constructed the newly commissioned Anambra State Airport. You are doing well for yourself, and I know you have made a lot of money. Why not continue enjoying yourself and leave the politics of Okwe alone? I don't know who you are, and I do not care to know. But I'd like to let you know I'm not interested in the politics of Okwe. I'm only interested in the development of my community. And your thick brain has not allowed you to know that politics and development are one and the same? Salah Sabodike, you have a lovely sister, remember? Hey, listen to me. Leave my sister out of this. If you want to have anything to confront with me, then do that man to man. That will be only on the condition that you will respect yourself and stay away from the politics of Okwe. I understand you are very passionate about your sister. Because of that and because of that alone. We are going to forget about your sister and face your mother instead. I can see your hell bent on knowing what I can do before you leave my family out of this. You provided that uniformed security officer for your mother in that supermarket. Do you really think he can provide security for her when the men who operate in the dark decide to come for her? Listen, boy, I am making you an offer. Do what you have to do and do it fast. Because if you push us to the wall, not only are we going to defile your mother, we are going to defile her so massively, and after that, we are going to kill her. Enough. It, it, it's okay. What do you want? Go back to Oka and mind your business. Leave the politics of Okwe alone. Sala Sabodike and There are men who are the owners of every town you see. We are the owners of this town. You are not one of us. And you will never be. Madam Antonia, my dear, your late husband, as my son's godparent, is the only one my son listens to. Now that he is no more, I guess he will listen to you. Please, my sister, help me and talk to my son. I don't want Chifo Keke to kill him. That evil man will kill my son. Ne, do not see it as if I'm more reasoning with you on this, okay? I just want us to burn our reason here. What do you mean? Do you really think that the little silence we all used to guide that year is the same silence we have now? Huh? Is that what you think? What are you driving at, Madame Antonia? <sighs> hmm. Leave him alone. Hmm? The boy has become a man. And the Chief Lena and Okeke will not remain a terror forever. We all have always known that someone will definitely rise to contain him. And that person has to be my son. Huh? I don't want to lose him. Do you know that uh, Obina, the youth leader, had a dream where they shot my son? And you have already concluded 
that they must shoot him in real life. I don't want to lose him. I don't want to lose my son. Stop bothering yourself over nothing, please. I feel he is prepared over this mission. Let us not be the ones that will discourage him. Yes. Your Highness. Greetings. You're sick. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope all is well. Igwe. I don't know how I feel. You are already before the King of Okwe. You should tell me what the problem is. I don't know how to say this. You also wish to wait? Yes. I've been... You have been getting threats. Yes, Your Highness. Serious threats. And this time they have extended it to my family. Your Highness, they are threatening to defile my mother and kill her. It is okay. I understand. I'm sorry, but I... This is beyond me. I've lost my father already. I, I can't afford to lose my mother. Um, I understand your frustrations, Silas. You don't <sighs> worry. I'm not holding it against you. At least you have done so well for coming to tell me. On this alone, I'm impressed. Thank you. Calm down, calm down. How will I do that? Eh? Silas is my only son. I'm having bad feelings about his activities lately. Eh? Okay. Can't you call him? Advise him as an uncle? Eh? It will be appreciated though. Silas is my only son. The only one I have. Beacon. Please help me. Talk to him. Okay, okay. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Mama, <coughs> Mama, if you will listen to me, please, stop calling many people, telling them about our family. Please, Mama. I'm not calling people, telling them about our family. It's your brother Silas who is driving me crazy. I am now regretting asking him to stay back here. Mama, have you asked yourself, what if this is the will of God for him? Have you? Will of God. How yes. do you mean? Mama. Yeah. Sit. Sit down. Mama. We've tried everything possible to talk him out of this, including involving his friends. He has not listened to anyone. One thing comes to mind, Mama. What if this is what God wants him to do for Okwe? Have you asked yourself? Mm -hmm. Um, Neka. Mama. You have tried. Go to your room and find something to do with your time. Mama, mm. please. Go. Oh, Mama. Because in we're on no sense. I'm not on here now. I'm not here. 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 I
Or you mona giga to kurupa. So it's better you go inside your room, find something reasonable and do with your time. Father. Father. Why are you here all by yourself? Are you okay? Dad? Father. 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 Gas! Father. Father, are you okay? Okay, welcome, sir. Okay, okay welcome, welcome. Who be that? Ah, uh -uh. palace guard. No, yes, sir. Good evening. You followed me. Is anything the problem? The king wants to see you at once. But I just left the palace now. I know, but something came up and he has asked you come right away. Did you come with a car? No. Okay, get into the car. So separated. What is going on? The okay tell of you do. The okwe of okwe. <laughs> you are confusing me. I am confusing you how? And Mirabel, even if this man here is confused, why are you sitting down there like an amateur? Like you don't know what you are here to do. Why are you crossing your legs? Doing nothing. What is going on here? You are brought in here to make this man comfortable. You know, like a, a cola to onions. You don't understand what I'm saying? You don't understand now? The okwe of okwe. <laughs> I don't know if you've gone to the extent of offering me a beautiful dancer as a cooler. <laughs> I, I, I think I like the tongue. <laughs> we are always advancing, doing newer things every day. Well, you know exactly why you are here, Mirabel. 
Why are you not doing anything? Chief, I was waiting for you to say something before I start doing anything. And I have said it. Now you know that this man sitting down here is my friend. Forget about anything. This man here is part of the man looting this kingdom. You see this Awokwe kingdom? Awokwe is a looted kingdom and we are the people looting the kingdom. So I brought you here today for you to assist me loot this man. Loot this man so heavily. And if you loot him so well, I swear tomorrow, I am going to loot your account so porously. You do something, right? I have something I'm doing upstairs and I'm hoping it will live up to expectation. The Okwe of Okwe. I'm going to make you scream my name. Stand up a little, just stand up. Don't take it easy, easy, easy. Stop there. Wow, this is it, Jesus Christ. Can you bend that a little? Yes, Mr. Silas Awadiki. Um, I know you are wondering how I got your number. Well, let's just say that I am the Princess of Okri and I can have anybody's number which I can fit. And you are also a star. Everybody knows you in this kingdom. Yes, I am calling you because I am worried. I mean, I am troubled. You came up with a wonderful suggestion which gave him hope. And for you to finally dash that hope by pulling out has caused a whole lot of problems in the past. I mean, the king had a heart attack after you left. Well, he is doing fine. I was just hoping you could have a rethink. I know you as a man who stands by the truth. I'll call you back. What is it? My princess, I know the reason why he decided to quit is because his family is under threat. I don't understand. He decided to quit because he was threatened? By now, he should know that every great man is always threatened. Silas knows about this, I am sure. He knows about this and decided to chicken out? That means he's a coward. My princess, please. Give him more time. Give him more time for what exactly? Please, just give him more time. Ah. Victoria, what is the meaning of this? Allow me go into my house. You are talking nonsense, Omen Okorobia. And you know it. Umuwa. Okay? If you know that place you spent the night, go back there and continue. But as for this house, you are not entering. You are not going in. Says who? Mm -hmm. My own house. Our own house. What is the meaning of this? Why should a man come back to his house and his wife refuse him entrance? Huh? Why? Hello, sir. Ah, uh, you see your uh, man of Colombia. What happened? You didn't wait for me before leaving. Yes, sir. I thought you were busy, so I didn't want to disturb you, sir. Uh, <laughs> so how was the babe? I hope she gave it to you the way no other woman ever did before. Sir, I just got back home now, and my wife is right here with me looking at me as we are talking. She refused me going into my own house. So I think let's discuss this business some other time, sir. I sure understand what you are going through right now. <laughs> Your wife is playing the wife, putting you on the spot, right? You know what? Call me when you are done dealing with this fracas. No, that is the word. That is the right word, sir. Fracas. That's what I mean. 
Uh, don't worry, sir. I will surely settle it and I'll get back to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Don't touch me. Oh, my son, just let me alone. Good morning, Mr. Silas. Good morning, my princess. How was your night? Well, my night was as restless as yours. How did you know my night was restless? Let's just say I've interacted with you. And I know a deeply patriotic man like you will never leave a noble cause. I mean, we never abandon it. Exactly. This cause must be seen to the end. We can never abandon it. But I need you to partner with me. You are already the leader of the team. And I do not have a problem with partnering with you. All I just want you to do for me is run me through the program. That's all. Very well then, I'll do that. But you must understand that partnering with me will involve you moving around with me incognito. Already you've been at the leader of the youths has um, arranged with the other youths for security. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to be part of this? I, I mean, I want to. I would do anything to put a smile on the faces of my people. So, like I said, when do we start? Today. Fine by me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. People should not ever ask me to explain anything in this town because I am the lord of this town. You see that project? I don't want it to continue. That is final. I have my reasons, and I am not in the mood of explaining my reasons to anybody. And in your mind, you feel I am scared of those riffraffs? Come on, give me a break. You see, I am going to contact the DGOC of the armed brigade. He is going to run those boys out of this town. All of them. Listen, I gave you an assignment specific assignment and i want you to concentrate on that assignment leave any other thing to me the italian man that will manage the company has been briefed and he's ready we will source all the raw materials from okwe kingdom here the ones we cannot get here will source locally I believe this will be the biggest granite company in the whole of Nigeria. And it will trigger something big in the whole of Igbo land. So we can stop depending on government and begin to do something to sustain ourselves. That is impressive. I mean, far better than what I thought. Thank you. I will be adding um, 20 million naira. Whoa. Ah, come off it. You're doing a nice job. Thank you. And all we could do at this point is give you all the support at our disposal. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> They build this company. Like, I would like to be the chief security. Yeah, so here's the site. 
And the king has asked us to expand to as much space as we need. Wow. <laughs> Trust me, this is massive. It is indeed. I mean, I know I'm the princess of Opie, but I have never been to this side of the kingdom. Uh, my princess. But as the princess, I don't think you'll have any business with this side of Opie. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Can you not talk about that? I wonder. Mean. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We are starting <sighs> work this week in earnest. There's no point waiting for anything. Tom, 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 I have discussed with Tobu if he be there. Eh? And uh, he has asked us to bring a ram so that he can offer to the deity. You understand? Mm. Uh, so Very important. We have to make a sacrifice to the central deity of Oku. I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me. We are talking about the growth and development of our land, not some fetish bullshit. What's that? I do not want anything fetish to be involved in this, please. Oh, Binna, But my princess, this is not fetish. At all. It is the tradition of the land. Mm -hmm. eh? The likes of uh, Chief Liu Keke, they become what they are today because we abandoned the ways of our forefathers. Exactly. Yes. Sacrificing a ram to the central deity of Okwe is, is, is a normal thing. It, it is even yeah. for protection. Why are you not saying anything about this? Oh, well, I'm not saying anything because Obina here is doing a great job with that. Oh. <laughs> My daughter. <laughs> so you are insinuating that we should give them the ram? It's not them, it's us. This is our culture, our tradition, our religion. We are doing this for us. We're going to face a lot of adversaries as I'm seeing it. And it's pertinent and paramount that we seek the support of our ancestors. I don't think that's a bad idea. Uh -huh. I wonder. So despite all our threats, our celebrity architect is still continuing doing the same things we want him to stop, right? Chief, it's true, it's true, it's true. And the princess is helping him. And I I gather they have gotten Obuifi Bide involved. Yes, they have even been sacrificed to the the deity of Obuifi. Ask me who gave them the idea. I will not be able to answer. They have made sacrifices to the central deity of Okwe. Yes. The princess of Okwe is finally making herself available for sacrifices to the central deity. Am I supposed to be afraid or what? <laughs> Chief, surprise the world. But fear. I am still surprised that our elegant princess will accept to be involved in deity sacrifices. Very surprising indeed. Chief. And is she a We are here. To the best of my knowledge, your task as men who are working closely with me is to do everything humanly possible to make sure that the princess of Okwe is married off to the crown prince of Omodewa kingdom. Right? We are working, oh, yes, we are working. Working very hard. Chief, we have almost gotten it sealed. At least two of them started talking. In fact, the princess is so attached to the young man. To the extent that they make video calls every day. They make video calls every day and by your own judgment, that means they are closed. How come the princess is still single in her father's house? And how come the prince of Omodenkwa is still a single man living in his father's palace in Omodenkwa? Why are they not married already? Chief. Should I need to remind you all 
<laughs> that despite all the money we make, despite the structure we have put in place, despite the politics we play, despite the kind of power we are sampling, do I need to remind you all that we do not have control over ancient establishments? Chief, please don't be mm -hmm. mad at us. We will do more with this development. You, you really need to do. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 you really need to. Look, this, the next plan of action must be hashed and executed immediately. Especially now that the king is incapacitated. We must. Oh, well, oh, well. What do you have in mind? be a reason you're asking. I hope you're not trying to turn into my mother who would now start pressurizing me to do stuff. I don't know what that means, but no woman can be your mother. <laughs> yeah. You listen, listen to me. I have a job for you. A very technical job that will redefine your life if properly executed. Yes, I'm at home. And you will do well to meet me at home so I'll give you a detailed lowdown of what is required of you. You have to make up your mind. Make up your mind and do it urgently. It's a technical job, like I said. And when you execute the job, your life will be changed for good. You know, it is strange. What is strange? It is strange that a hard-working and handsome man like you would just stay without a girlfriend. That's absurd. I'd rather we don't talk about that. Fine. So, talking about the construction company, where are we supposed to get the money from? Um, I'm in talks with some Okwe indigents in diaspora, and I'm pretty positive they'll come through for us. How much do we have? I put in 10 million. Ichi Obidike before his demise gave us 20 million. Yourself, you threw in 20 million. That's a total of um, 50 million naira. And you think that is not enough? That's a far cry from what we need. I don't think it is. Trust me. I mean, you are an architect and a civil engineer, right? Together we can construct this company on a direct level basis. And yes, we will be able to save a whole lot of money. Do you really want to get involved to that extent? Yes, I want to. Silas, this is your dream. And all I am doing is partaking in it. Thank you. I should be the one thanking you. For helping me practice what I actually told you. Of course, and you're wonderful at it. Mm. <laughs> I should be getting a gift. So what do you think about these um, conveniences? You'd rather they go in parallels or... Um, doctor, please, how is my father doing? He's getting better. All he needs now is 
rest. Lot of it. Please, nobody should do anything that will stress his brain. Ensure he takes his medication always. Let his uh, diet be more of vegetable, fruit and fish. I'll keep checking up on him time to time. Okay, doctor. I'll take my leave now. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Father. I hear you've been quite busy in my absence. Someone had to take over. Has any of the chiefs come around? Um, yes, they actually came to ascertain the state of your health. No. They want to know if I am dying soon, so business will continue as usual. Blood of vipers. Father, uh, what, what are you doing? I'm trying to sit up. No, 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 Dad, you're not supposed to do this. You heard the doctor. You're not supposed to stress yourself, please. Besides, I'm here to take over from wherever you stopped. I can do anything for you. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Your mother will be very proud of you. You're doing well. Thank you so much, Father. You know, Silas and I are doing everything possible to make sure that the proposed project is going on the way. Hmm. It's in progress, Father. Well, like I said, your mother will be very proud of you. I am tired. Yes, that you should be tired. Um, you need to get some rest. So, uh, I'll get you some food, so I'll be right back, okay? It really makes you excited. Why don't you guess? You know I'm not good at guessing. Well, just try. Okay. You're getting married finally. <laughs> oh, please. What's funny? Why are you laughing? You asked me to guess and I guessed. I'm certainly not marriage. That's least of my concerns right now. Whoa, that makes the two of us then. Really? Mm-hmm. Are you trying to tell me that you've I mean you're not in any way attracted to me? What? <laughs> do you want your father to club me to death? Why would he do that? I am not of royal blood. I shouldn't even be in the picture. <sighs> That's not true. I mean my own dictionary is all about self. I mean, mutual respect, understanding and love. That's what matters in the relationship, right? Well, lucky for you, but not for me. I'm this kind of man that a lady cannot um, really love or understand. Mm. I'm kind of complicated. Complicated? What do you mean? Enough of me. What's the good news? Okay. Let's just say we got the fund that we needed. What? The fund. I spoke with my brother in Scotland and then he promised to gave us the open some amount of um dead similar. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. I've got so carried away. Okay, fine. I, I understand we needed the parts on the back, but I'm not done with the good news. Really? And then he said he was gonna send his friend to come help us out with the construction of the company. My goodness! <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yes. See, we have done well for ourselves. We are making progress. Yeah, I know. That's why I've been so happy. So, aren't we supposed to be celebrating this? It calls for celebration. And also, a part. On the, the back. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I'm so happy. I'm really so happy.
His Royal Majesty. I bring to you gifts from my father. His Royal Majesty is a mwa of a mudimwa kingdom. <laughs> he also Thank wishes you speedy recovery. Thank you. On behalf of the people of Ogwa Kingdom, I wholeheartedly accept the gift and his well wishes. May he reign long. Uh, Please sit down. Oh, thank you, my king. Uh, so, um, my king, can I request to see the princess? I have a lot of gifts for her. Um, the princess is not here at the moment. She went out for an official tour of the town and will be back anytime soon. Oh, okay. there is not a problem, my king. All right. Um, maidens. Princess. Good afternoon. Um, what is it? Prince Akaka is here. Really? Yes, he came this afternoon. Unannounced? Yeah, he's asking to see you. He's with the king in the palace now. You see? Thanks for the heads up. I'm happy to get my stuff. All right. All right, my cousin. Your Majesty, the princess is so beautiful. I love her with everything in me. Even the forces that keep watch over this palace will bear me witness that I love the princess. I do not doubt you, son. But the onus of making her see the love is on you. But Marking, I am trying my best. And when your best seems not to be enough, you try more than your best. I want her to be yours. Always know that. Good evening, Father. Oh, how are you, daughter? I am good. How was your day? Oh, it was quite hectic. Um, good evening, the Prince of Umidikwa Kingdom. Good evening, the elegant Princess Golibe of Ufi Kingdom. You didn't tell me you were coming. Yeah, that was because I wanted to surprise you. I see. I came bearing gifts there in your chamber. Thank you. Father, I am quite tired. I would want to go freshen up. You're welcome. You're welcome. Sure. My king. She is not just photogenic. Even in real life, she is so beautiful. And she's more beautiful in action than she looks. She's indeed a strong woman. Yeah. And I cannot wait to have her named my wife. It will happen. And it will further cement the relationship between our two kingdoms. Yes. You must know, I am still in Okwe, and I don't know when I'll be coming back to Mudimwa. Yes. You know, we, we had um, an interaction yesterday, and I must tell you, I love her personality. Yes. 
Yes, we are going to work on something and everybody will be happy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I will talk to you later, okay? Okay. Hey, the beautiful future queen of Umudingwa. Good morning. Good morning. Did you, I mean, did you sleep here? Sure, yes. So, how did you see them? I mean, the gifts. They're quite lovely. You know, I made an attempt to see you last night. You know, to have a close, knitted conversation with you. But your maiden said you weren't in the mood. <laughs> my prince, you have my phone number, so why didn't you send me an SMS? Come on. Come on, Princess Golibe. You shouldn't say that. You know, as the future queen of Umudimpwa, we should talk more often, rather than exchanging, you know, countless text messages. <sighs> well, different people have their different... Um approaches when it comes to issues, you know. Thank you for the perfume. I I love it. Okay. Uh, the constant reference to me as the Queen of Mudinkwa, can you at least bring it down a little bit? Please. <laughs> Thank you. I, I will bring it down, but you are the queen. <laughs> When they resist me so much, they tend to bring out the best in me. <laughs> Father, what is the matter? Do you not like him? Like who? Do not pretend as if you do not know who I am talking about. I have told you he's here on my invitation, and you shouldn't treat him like this. Father, how am I treating him? No, you tell me, how did I treat him? Because, I mean, I was not even informed about his coming. Besides, he hovers around too much, Father. I do not like a man who hovers around like some hawk who cannot wait to scoop up a prey. I, I, I can't stand him. For goodness sake, he's a prince. Why would he even sleep here in the first place? Why would you say that? I have told you already, he's here on my invitation. Now tell me, if my guests cannot sleep in the palace, why then do I have guest chambers? <sighs> the young man likes you. And listen, your union with him will go a long way to help our two kingdoms. Father, can you please listen to yourself? I mean, with what you just said, it's obvious that you and your chiefs has really made me a beginning chief. Just to be able to cement your further political Oh, mind your tongue. I am not just your father. I am the king. And you're not just an ordinary child. Golibe, listen. You will do your duty, whether you like it or not. Father... <laughs> You are not the one who's going to spend the rest of your life with this guy. I am the one. I, I presume I do not have the right to say anything in this matter, right?
Oh, I was actually on my way to come see you. Um, I'm actually going to work. Maybe we'll see when I'm back, okay? Be good. Walk. A princess walks? Why? Why would she walk? Even if she must walk, why would she walk now that she knows that I am here? Your Majesty, I just ran into the princess leaving the palace and she said that she is leaving for work. I am here to recover from that shock. Shock? What are you shocked about? Well, um, we can always talk about that later. But, why does she always avoid me like a plague? I wish I knew. We were good before. I thought she was into me the same way I am into her. I don't understand her behavior at all. I understand you are upset. But you need to be patient when dealing with a woman, especially a woman like my daughter. However, be rest assured, she will come around with time. I hope so. I pray so. Because she is all I want. And I feel that I cannot continue without her. Royalties don't sound like that because to your table comes all manner of problems. And you need to be strong at all times. That is Ezemkwa. Of Umudimwa, your father. And as his son, you should wear the same jacket of courage and accomplishment like your father. <laughs> Can you imagine? Are you ordering me a house slap? <laughs> well, this, that is the truth. I know, right? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. So just leave your. Uh, uh, don't, don't try me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'll put this over. Hi, girls. What's up? I'm not funny. What is it? Honestly, I do not like the way our princess is treating the visiting prince. Why are you not for such a man? Mm -hmm. Now you know, as they like my <laughs> This is not about money. This is about marrying into wealth and power. Or don't you like what you see around you? Mm -hmm. We are still saying the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, rice, the hungry you are doing. <laughs> Wedding rice. You have to tell us since I'm now. Big, big. See, but the truth is, you people do not know the man in question. He's a chain smoker. Oh, you hmm. serious? On that alone, it would take a miracle for our princess to marry him. Oh uh, my goodness, this is wrong. serious. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Babe, how you take this gist? Awesome. Ah, you're not serious. I'm not even going to Hello. Sweet lady of the stars. Please come. What can I do for you, my prince? My prince? Hmm. I'm sorry if you don't like being called that, but I was told you're a prince. Yes. Yes, you are right. I am a prince. I'm also a prince of less words. How would you like um, a brand new iPhone? And the sum of 500,000 there. What am I to do for them? I mean, what am I to do for you to give them to me? Come closer. Hmm. 
What's keeping a zin in now? Mm. She's wasting a lot of time. Why do you talk like this? Man, she don't enter up last night. You know as this place, eh? They can't walk with it, this place, eh? Sorry. Not be here. Ha! Huh. Happy, I give you this, what would they do so? She na nah, all those guards supposed to do all this ones. Eh? They go eat, finish, they sleep their head out. <laughs> Babe, stop complaining, no? If you are tired of the job, just resign and get another job. Besides, you are the princess favorite. Why would you say that? Huh. Why would I say that? Please, oh. Eh? Princess has no favorites. Don't argue the obvious. All of us know what that happened for this palace. Eh? And everybody that can go princess room as you they do. Now you know. Now you know you your work. Mm -mm. No allow me. Over Sabi. See this one no. Huh. Hmm. Uh. I pay you the kind of money I pay you every month because you're supposed to be my eyes in this kingdom. Why is it that a lot of things are happening in the same kingdom where I have eyes and nobody is giving me feedback? Chief, I am in a position to tell you that we are doing our best. You're doing your, your what useless best are you doing, Je 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 Jessica? You are doing your best and that son of a cow is clearing that portion of land given to him by that son of a cow again, parading himself as the king. And nobody is doing anything about it. Chief. That is why we are here. Give us the instruction and we'll kill them all. Send them to Valhalla. And we'll kill him. His corpse will be discarded without any trace. Even the princess who is now working with him will be kidnapped and she will not be released until she denounces her allergies to him. Now you listen to me. I do not approve his brother. You see that chemist that is waiting outside in his car? You will go with him. I want you to arrest Silas and allow the chemist give him an injection. An injection that you have already defined that is going to do something very specific. You see the princess? Nobody should kidnap her. So how else do we solve this problem, Chief? We solve this problem by engaging the problem in a mafia way. You move in there. Arrest Silas Abodike, beat him mercilessly, and allow the chemist administer the injection. I repeat, nobody should touch the princess. But why, Chief? She's part of the problem to the network. Why should we spare her? I am the network. And I am telling you what you must do. Silas Abodike is the engineer of all this nonsense and he is the one I want you to beat to the pulp and allow the chemist to do his thing. There is a reason I don't want anybody to touch the princess. Go and do this thing and leave the princess alone. Leave. Yes, boss. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, the ultimate Chief. Hello? Um, 
Hello, not a man, look what? Eh? Hello? Hello? I would you. Oh, get it. What's wrong? Hi. Hey, Hey, whoa. Hey, whoa. What is being of this? How do you feel now? I don't understand. Uh, you now feel you know more than me? The ultimate chief. That is not what I mean. That guy is a big fool to challenge you in this town. We should have ended him up. Giving him that injection is not enough. Now you listen to me, you fool. Because it is very obvious you don't even know anything. They have gotten the central deity of Okwe involved in this men like me who have killed many people are very careful when deities are involved listen the injection i gave him is going to reformat his brain that he will not be able to remember anything at all that is what i want not to kill anybody because i don't want blood in my hand anymore i know how these things work how do you mean chief what you have is blood money for you to remain in blood money, you must continue to share blood. Yes. Maintain the stand. You no longer want to kill people. You will go broke back to square zero. It happened to my boss. I mean my former boss in worry. And I don't want it to happen to you, chief. For you know how to distribute this money. You really feel you can weaken me? With the sentiments of telling me that I know how to distribute this money? After insulting your grandfather, not me. Now you listen to me. What I have is diamond money. Money I made from mining illegal diamonds in the forest of Okwe. That is the same business that Riffraff is planning to truncate. And that is why I gave him the injection. To reformat his brain. I don't know what you mean by blood money. And let this be the very last time you will stand before me and say that. I'm sorry, the ultimate chief. I'm so sorry. Leave my face. What nonsense. Once they see anybody who has money, it becomes blood money. Mama, what happened to your daughter? <laughs> you are not Silas. I know there is nothing you can do about this. Mama, you can't say that. <laughs> My father is the king of this kingdom, and I am Princess Golibi. Yes, you might not know me because I've not been around all this while. But trust me, 
there is something I can do about this. So tell me, what happened? How did it happen? Hi! Now why are you doing this? You're creating a scene. Please, talk to me. My daughter, please. He's the only one I have. Mama, you will not Help me, please. Mama, you will not lose your son. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> the central head of the deity has already said this before it happened. And it happened exactly the way he said it. Mama, I am optimistic that Silas will be fine. Just please get up and tell me how it happened. Wait. Who? Tell My me. daughter, did I hear you say the chief priest is involved in this? Isn't it? It appears there's something you are hiding. I don't understand. Something like what? Oh, please, isn't it? You went in there, spent a lot of hours, and now you're here. You have refused to tell us what you've been doing inside that house. Mm. Uh, isn't it? What kept you? Nothing. Nothing much. I just stumbled on the choice program on television, so I decided to watch it. Why am I even facing this panel? Are you guys planning on judges now? Oh, please. Hmm? I was a panel of judges. Are you being serious? Hmm? <laughs> okay, well. Very soon she will tell us what happened. That's how they know on you. In that most time, we will know. I'm telling you, my dear. <laughs> Very soon. <laughs> you will tell us. She left this morning for school. After a while, they called me. Who? Who called you, Mama? I don't know, but they say I should warn. Should warn me? Uh, no. Wait a minute, Mama. They, they know about me. No, they say I should warn my son Silas to stay away from the princess. Hi. My goodness, this isn't happening. I am sure they are the one that did this to my son. <sighs> Thank you so much for this information, Mama. I will do everything within my power to make sure that I bring back your daughter to you. Are you sure? Remember my father is the king. I promise. I remember what your father did when my husband was assassinated. Indeed, my daughter, your father is a good man. I want you to go back in there and take care of Silas. While I go back to the palace, I need to fix some things, okay? Where are you going? I'll be right back, Mama. Okay.
What is it this time? What? There's something I want to tell you. What is it? Smelling something fishy in this palace. I know what I am talking about. Now you tell me if you were this classmates, why then are you here as a palace maiden? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. You don't really. Now I think because I am laughing too much with you girls, you better fix yourselves up. Else, I'm not a mom. Shut up, you white ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Why do you always insist you do this ass? You know, you are the only woman who talks to me as if she's my wife. You know, you remind me so much of my wife. My wife is the only one I do this dance with. And that is why I do this dance with you because I somehow you don't want to see you as a wife. You always have a technical way of insulting someone. Why do you always do that? I don't understand. Why is your voice going up? No, how have I insulted you? I don't understand. Why are you behaving this way? What's the problem? Why do you always remind me of your wife? If she's important as you claim, why is she not here? Something is definitely wrong with Miss Green. Are you okay? No, why do you sound this way? You are a senior police officer and I expect you to behave like an officer. Why are you sounding like a bloody civilian? I just elevated you to the status of a wife. Are you not supposed to be excited? What's this? You're not. You are a sinking man. I beg your pardon? I have been hanging around you, not because of your stinking wealth. And you know I don't need your money. I have my reasons to be here, but I've had enough. Really? If you ever call my number again, I will frame you up and send you to prison. She will frame me up and send me to prison. What the hell is going on? What is wrong with Miss Green? Just when I thought I have already solved all my problems, Miss Green has just confirmed that she is actually part of my problems. Please spare my life, Your Majesty, please. I never said anything that suggests I would take your life. For how long have you been spying for the prince? I, 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 I wasn't spying for the prince, so we only asked about his anus whereabouts, and I told him about your work with Uncle Silas. You may need to understand you are before the king. Do not lie to me. I'm not lying, Your Majesty. I'm not lying. No. I, I, he only asked if he had a family. What did you tell him? I told him all he needed to know. Just shut your mouth. Shut that hole in your face. Your Highness, we need to do something. I mean, a young girl's life is at risk. We need to get to the prince at once. Go face the prince. Yes, my Majesty. Hurry! So disappointed. <laughs> so that too. Me too. I saw all this coming. I told you to help me to do something. You refused. Now look at where it has landed me. I can't find my daughter. 
My son is incapacitated. Ah. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Okay? Oh, God. Calm down. We are in a tunnel. And I see light at the end of this tunnel. Yes. So let's keep our faith alive. Everything will be fine, okay? It's okay. It's okay. My son is as stubborn as his father. Hi. It's okay. Something in me tells me that the spirit of his late father is with him. And he will never allow anything to happen to him. Yes. It's okay, so calm down, okay? Calm down, everything will be fine. I hope so. I hope so. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's okay. I don't know where to go. Where will I start? Hi. Oh, God. <laughs> My king. What is going on? My princess. How are you? Prince Okaka, I sent for you. I hope there is no problem, my king. Unfortunately, there is. Isn't there here confessed that you have been asking her a manner of questions? All manner of questions about my daughter and her whereabouts. She also attests to me that you are responsible for the disappearance of a lady from this kingdom, sister to architect Silas Abodike, an illustrious son of this kingdom. What? Me? How? I mean, Prince, you... you may need to understand you are before the king of Okwe. The prince, the architect, works for me with my daughter. You must release that maiden now, or you will be detained indefinitely. My king, I don't know why you are sounding this way, but I am a prince. I should not be threatened this way. And you are in my court! Marriage proposal between you and my daughter is off the table. You are not royalty at heart. And you must be careful what you say next before I lose it completely. Where 
mai. Neka. I thought you had gone back to school. My son, thank God we found her. Silas. The ultimate chief. We feared what we should have done. And now I feel there's a bigger problem in our hands. What are you talking about? That enemy of your soul has not lost his senses. My informant, the nurse at the hospital, they took him to just confirm to me that he woke up and is talking sane and sound. How is that possible? What we gave him is capable of reformatting his brains completely. How could he be say that he woke up and he's still sane and sound? No, how, how is that possible? The ultimate chief. I don't know. I just told you what happened. Killing that fool would have been the best thing so far. How could he be safe and sound? You both will do well to not block my way. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. To Chief Leo KK's place. He has to finish what he started. Please, my son, don't do this to me, Biko. Look at me, your mother. Eh? If you insist, you have to kill me before you go. Mama, nothing is going to happen to you. You will kill me first, though. Nothing will happen to you. Oh, please, no, please. What does not kill you makes you stronger. This one is no longer making me stronger. He's killing me. Oh, oh, oh. oh you're only losing. Neka. Go and meet Obina. Tell him the time is now. Ma. Neka, go where I sent you now. Mama. Hi. Hi. You have to kill me first. Before going to meet him. Kill me all. I am no longer alive. Nkanga doesn't go. Yes. Biko, ma. Biko. Biko, no, Biko, no. Look at your mother. Hey! Hey! Chibo! Dear, what is the matter? Leave us. Does this have to do with Silas? Father, yes, it does. Yes. As a matter of fact, that young man suffers greatly. Just because he has chosen to do his things differently. Something that you and I have always wanted. I don't understand what you're saying. Father, what I am saying is that man is a very comfortable architect. A man who has carved a niche for himself. I mean, all he wants is just to, you know, do things properly. That's it. Be specific. Tell me exactly what you are saying. Father, what I am saying is that this man has inspired me to do, I mean, to take the same responsibilities which he has taken. All he wants is for the lives of our people to be better. If this young man can fix those tyrants, why can't we fix them? My dear, you know, you are actually saying what is important to you, but I am seeing something else. How do you mean, Father? Do you love him? I just like him. 
Why are you smiling, Father? You know, one thing with men in negative business is that they are always planning. As we have confirmed, he did not get reformatted like we planned. I am thinking we have to immediately switch to our next line of action. Chief, and what's the next line of action? Okom Madro. Okom Madro, who I practically made the king of Okwe. Is supporting him. That son of a cow. And I am thinking that as punishment for him for supporting that low life that we are going to dethrone Ukomadu as the king of Okwe and then install another man as king who will do exactly whatever we want him to do. Should we not be thinking of what is possible? Can we wake up to dethrone the king of Owe? You see, Echerio, you actually think this is not possible? Chief, I think it's not possible. Do you know the kind of money I have already set aside for this? Chief, oh, and I suggest we should stop. And why? Why is it that I have men working with me who are now behaving like fools? Why in this world must we stop? If we should allow this kingdom, Okwe, to start functioning, how kingdoms should function? I mean, start functioning well. If we allow that, where are we going to get the kind of money we have been spending? How do we get it? The Okwe of Okwe. With all due respect, sir, money is not everything. Are you serious? When did you start talking this way? From what we know now, Ogwefi Ibide, the chief priest, is now involved. I suggest you stop. Okwe of Okwe, if made billions out of the resources of our people, I'm advising you now to invest in real-time business and allow Okwe to try. Mr. Colombia, does it mean you are you insane or what? Or are you high on something? How can you sit before me and you are saying this to my face? Are you not aware that I have already pocketed the political and the economic structure of this kingdom? Chief, I can tell you that no one man can pocket the kingdom. The gods of Owe allowed you to leave this world. Keep hoping that it will change. So, so Peter, I'm advising you to give up before the gods pocket you. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I can no longer hold her. You can no longer hold who? What are you talking about? Chief, Princess Golibi, she has just arrived barefooted and she says she must see you now. One of two things will happen today. You are going to issue a statement that states that you are no longer the Okwe of Okwe and leave or refuse and face the gods. Even Okoma, your father, in all his borrowed royalty and majesty, has never and can never talk to me in this manner. How dare you? Chief, 
for the princess to initiate this ancient process of comforting a strong man. Barefooted means she is being guided. She is being guided by the chief priest. So I advise you to stop. For confronting the daughter of a king that is barefooted is dangerous. Chief, she is in direct communion with Ajahn, the mother eight, and I'm advising you to obey. All of you are talking nonsense. You will see something. Now you, daughter of a cow, if you know what is good for you, leave this place before I blow you into smithereens. You are the cow who calls decent people cows. It is either you denounce that title right now or face the cards. Sorry, we have begged him to stop, but he did not listen to us. Princess, we are sorry. He deceived us and threatened us. Please forgive us. Come with me to the chief priest of Mons. Breaking news. What's breaking news? What's happened? Mama well, is my brother. He'll be happy to hear this. Where is he? Silas is in his room. What is the breaking news? Mama, the almighty chief Leonard Okeke. Mm -hmm. The evil man who calls himself. Mm -hmm. Okwe of Okwe. Okwe. Uh -huh. He is dead. Huh? Mama. Omgo. Mechom. <laughs> Mama, he is dead. Where is my brother? I need to break this How? news to him. Mama, how did... What killed him? What killed him? The news is that he has been killed by the gods. My brother needs to hear this. I know he'll be happy to hear it. By the gods. I'm going to tell him right now, Mama. Mama, I'm coming. By the gods. Chief Leonard Okeke is dead, killed by the gods. Ah. So, the gods of Okwe land can still kill evil people like Leonard Okeke. Why didn't they kill him all this while? Ono aro ano kan ketana akpagari ebe ni ile. Hey! 
Ke de ha sure na won ama yi ona ipo. O gbe kwenu. Yeah. Kwenu. Yeah. Kwenu. Yeah. Kwenu. Yeah. Umunu zo ona. Today marks a historic event in Okwe Kingdom. Okwe. As your king, I pledged to lead when I was crowned. Unfortunately, I allowed myself to be surrounded by saboteurs. But I promise you, we will never see the likes of these ones ever in our political landscape. Silas Abodike. Igwe. You are true son of the soil. Thank you, Igwe. He's a true son of the soil, for he started what we never envisaged. Okay. Let the soul of your late father, Paul Abodike, continue to rest in peace. Yes. Yes. Paul Abodike was a great man, a good man, for he fought for almost everybody here. Yes. He fought for all of us. That is true. And his spirit lives in his son, who will be getting married to my daughter, Princess Golive, soon, in the most glorious marriage ever experienced in Okwe Kingdom. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> now that we've found the peace we have all been looking for, praying for, scrambling for. The foundation laying ceremony of Okwe Marble Company will start soon. We can commence. When? Yeah! When? Yeah! When? Yeah! When? Yeah! When? Yeah! 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 Goodness of man has no limits, but what goes up must surely come down someday. The wickedness of man has no limits, but what goes up must surely come down someday. Everything is no more to say. Oh, maybe go. 